Hello and welcome to another episode of Derbatri Adventures right here on Gen Con TV. I want to give a quick shout out to Magecraft Miniatures. They are awesome. You probably watched our last show. You saw the, the dinosaurs. You probably see the one on the screen right now. They are a great company. If you put exclamation Magecraft in the chat, uh, you can actually get a link that will get you 10% off. And what's really great about Magecraft um, is they actually um you know paint the miniatures and everything else so let me see if this transitioned uh, hold on a second looking like it's not transitioning let me get that for you do, 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 do. there we go there we go okay there we go all right also want to give a shout out to todd putman over at dnd creative table designs you know i go there all the time i build a lot of stuff but you know they also it's a site that's not just about you know dwarven forge it's about writing adventures you know character building all that good stuff so if you're looking for a really just great community of people i highly suggest you, you, you check them out um and they are very big uh they have over thirty thousand members they're growing about a thousand new members a month and the place is drama free you know there's no type of harassment or anything Anything like that there's zero tolerance i am tony your dm uh this is episode 17 we have one more for the end of season one um before the team starts season two with a brand new dm he is a really cool guy uh, i don't want to spoil the surprise in case they want to hold off so i'm not going to say any names um but i'm gonna let the players introduce themselves and if they want to say anything about uh, anything they're working on like i know uh, jack has project h2 uh they can go ahead and jump into that we'll start with eric Hey guys, uh, Eric Wahlberg. I play Volrock the Gray. He's a Runite fighter and bard. And um, I think that's about it for today. Uh, looking forward to uh, marching to the end of this awesome season. Uh, 18 episodes is, is uh, going to be a pretty good run. Big. Okay, All right. And next is uh, Chris. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris, and I'm playing Aiza Marley, a human wizard. I'm looking forward to today's session, and I hope everyone has a good time. All right. And then next is Jack. G'day, everyone. I'm Jack. I play Sethreth Bloodtongue, a half-orc barbarian. I'm also the <clears throat> owner of Project H2, and I'll have a chat to you about some things a little bit later on. Let's have a good session. Awesome. And then next is Space. Hey guys, uh, I'm Space. Um, I'm, I'm playing Diora, uh, the Dampier Monk, and yeah, I'm excited to get into it. All right. And then last but not least is Erica. Hi, I'm Erica. I play Rin Swiftbow, Beastmaster Ranger, um, Elf, um, and I'm also excited to play today. All right. So um, last we left off, we'll get right back into it. Um, the party had gone into the swamp. You know, Jatal had been killed by the attack of Kong Drag, Kong Drag, which was actually this huge king of the thunder lizards, uh, which they had to go and search down. It had also been corrupted, of course, by the, the power of the island that continues to, to grow as they're, they're trying to close in and defeat it. And they, they had just gone through this epic battle where they had fought him and bought him down. And Shaka, they had got to him. And luckily, it looks like Shaka was, was all right. He wasn't dead. Uh, so now we're that's right where we're going to pick it up, where Shaka is pretty much, you know, uh, come conscious and you know you've got this the huge king of the thunder lizards sitting right there in the background I think the group wants to get them some boots or something so I guess they're going to skin it and have all you know reptile suits and look all rich like thousand dollar Gucci shoes but uh, that is where we're at and I will let them start it off uh, Shaka is just kind of coming too ah, ah good, good news indeed Rin, looks like he was only mostly dead. Ah, ah, ah. What is happening? Where is Khan? Is he defeated? He looks over and he sees him. Ah! The beast has been slaughtered. You must have beat him. He got the best of me. He took my love, Jatal. Came into her. Assaulted our village. I'm glad that you came after him. 
but I cannot believe that she is gone. You can see like the sadness in his face and everything else. He begins to think about Chital. Tell me, was there any more damage to the village? How many survive? We don't have a number, but there are survivors. Sorry Good. about your loss. Good. Thank you. Chital was the Earth Mother. No one will ever be able to replace her. But we have a daughter who I think in time will be able to take her place as leader of the Tonora tribe. I ask that you take me back to the village. I have things I wish to discuss with you. Let me just skin this bugger first. I want some trophies. Ah, maybe some teeth and claws too. I would like to take sketches of the corpse as well. Okay. So we'll start. Uh, Seth Reth, you, you want to go and, and skin the corpse? Sure do. Going to skin it. <laughs> I'm going to rip out a lot of the teeth. That they can be made into a pretty cool necklace later on. And it might even take a claw or two. Hold on. Luke, you got to go back in, buddy. I'll All right, I'll give you a hug. I love you. Watch oh. out, Why you watch? Yes, you are very strong. All okay. right. I love you, bud. Metal. He's You're talking very, to me. <laughs> I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> talking to the whole, oh, oh, talking to the whole wide world. Because I suspect there's some lovers out there. Um, so Seth, Threat, you go to uh, do the, you know, skin the corpse. Uh, go ahead and give me a survival roll, please. Come on, man. Bloody what, dice. What did you get there? Nine. Shite. Well, you know, that's good enough, though, because this thing is big. I mean, it's huge. It's not like a, it's not going to take an extremely delicate hand to pull off, you know, to slice a big piece of flesh. I mean, the thing is gargantuan. So, I mean, nine is definitely is good enough to get, you know, some pieces uh, necessary to make those boots. Uh, and of course, and, and some teeth as well. I mean, the teeth are huge. I mean, again, you can just take your hand on it, your big half org, uh, uh, org hand and rip it right off. So... Uh, you get the, the some teeth uh, and some skin uh, as you peel it off, Kong Dragger. And I'm also going to take some meat for eating too when we get back to camp. All right. So we can all celebrate eating. So I'm going to get a big chunk, make like a little um, like a little stretcher to drag it on, so I can drag it back to the camp. Ah, uh, stuff it. I'm I'm bringing the head back. Are you going to cigar stretcher? Are you gonna, gonna take be? It back to the camp. Are you gonna be like Fred Flintstone with the big like ribs? You know, like, just walking <laughs> along. Yeah, yeah. You know, this big it's Fred Flintstone big Bronto burger or something. Yeah, some big ass ribs. Oh, I'm right. gonna stack up a big pile on the on a big stretcher, and the goal is to drag it back. That the camp can use the skull as like some sort of symbol to say that in memory of the loss of her. And uh, yeah, and the, the meat will be for a feast, like her wake, I guess. Okay. The feast on the creature that that, uh, that destroyed them. All right, because yeah, you still, it's going to take you a few days to get back to town. So uh, you'll go to camp, you know, first, and then I guess you're going to be cooking your food. And uh, so you've got your, your head, you know, it's, it's kind of gory, you know, as you go to rip this thing's head off but you're able to do it takes a, it takes a little bit of time you know because this thing has a big neck so you're hacking for a good amount of time and while you're hacking away getting your head and you got your skin and your teeth uh a yize you wanted to get something as well uh yes i just wanted to uh, um <clears throat> i'll open up my book and uh pull out a quill and conjure up my quill and i'll start making stretches of the creature uh, as uh, as Sethroth uh, butches it, just getting an idea for its physiology and such like. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm looking out for signs of uh, unnatural corruption. Mm -hmm. All right, you definitely um give me uh since you're looking out for signs, you know it's something you're looking for. I'll give you an advantage. Give me Arcana, please. Okay, one sec. And this is an advantage? Yeah, you have advantage because you're looking for it. You're like really paying attention. You're observing. Well, there's a 26. Oh, yeah. Well, you definitely, okay. You are able to determine pretty much all there could be to know uh, about 
this uh, Khan Drago, you determine that the corruption had slowly, it looks like, seeped into his veins. It's, it's, it's a, you know, got into there and that's what got him bigger. Uh, you can tell the physiology originally of the creature, because your arcana was so high here, um, the magic also affected that, making his limbs about two times to three times larger than they normally be. That owes to the giant size. Uh, it also seems, as strange as it seems, that you get the sense that there is almost like some kind of uh, intelligence within the, the, the kind of the, the magic itself, like a collective intelligence almost. Like it's like the the corruption is taking other people as it's you know as the corruption is going into things with in the island like Khan Drago it's slowly com maybe communicating with them on a almost primal way you're getting that sense. Interesting. I take notes to that effect, and uh, I say, um, Sethreth, my friend. You, yeah, may not, you may not want to eat this. Why not? <laughs> um, I believe it has been physically and spiritually corrupted. That's all. I'm not going to eat it, but it's up to you. And uh, continue taking notes. Corrupted in what way, man? Oh, um, it appears that some malign intelligence uh, has uh, corrupted this creature and uh, exerted some level of primeval control over it. And um, the vile essence has permeated the very flesh of the creature. So make sure you cook it thoroughly, <laughs> if you are going to eat it. But, uh, so if I eat it, you're worried that it could make me crazy? Um, yes. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Uh, is there any chance it might make me bigger like him um no ah. it will make it's you um well you probably notice these large growths over here and notice these pus oozing sores with the black um, um pestilence uh as part of the pus or these green mm. i don't know what those are they're like waddles I guess, yeah. <laughs> on this section here. Uh, those appear to be not part of the, the, the creature's normal um, physiology. physiology, physiology. Oh. <laughs> right. Whatever that word means, I'll agree with you, because you're the smart one. Oh, right. Well, thank you. <laughs> all right. I'll leave the meat, but I'll get the skin for us all, and I'll keep the teeth and claws, and that head, it's coming back, and they can keep the skull. Because I reckon that's pretty impressive. And I'll, I'm going to help out Sethreth by uh, chopping down some appropriately um, sized trees or branches so we can create kind of a, a stretcher with the skin of the creature that we can put the head on. And so Sethreth can hold the front two and I can hold the back two. Okay. Are y'all going to go all predator and kind of like clean off the skull and everything and like, you know, keep it as a memento? I, I think. Well, that's I guess what to Seth, right? villages to do. That's what I was thinking at the village, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're going to be all holding it up like... You know, uh, there's, there's I can no stand inside you. the bloody thing. <laughs> there's no need for you to drag it through the jungle by hand. If you but wait a moment. All right. What do you got? I'll go to my yeah. robe of many patches and I will pull a riding horse with you. With oh, oh <laughs> and you got the stretch i'm not gonna i'm not, I'm not gonna make y'all roll to create that stretch y'all y'all get that you're good to go on that you able to craft a, a nice little thing to carry this head and every all your other stuff on and now you've got your horse well, i shall name you binky now um someone with some skill in animal handling can set up this stretcher with the horse i suspect not me could take a crack um, at it. Rin, what's your bonus in animal handling? Um, these two. So I just roll for animal handling? Yes, ma'am. What's your bonus in it first? He's asking you to decide who's going to roll. 
it's it says two. I'm assuming that's what it is. Then or you assist it? you assist me because I have a plus four. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, for the assistance, we'll say that uh, um, Rin is, you know, kind of like speaking relaxing words, you know, an Elvin, you know, the Sharu, Kisimiralani, trying to calm, you know, uh, the horse down while Seth at this come behind the rope just to slug it across the head and, and make it tame. Uh, so uh, you got advantage, uh, yeah, Jack. Uh, you're able to do it, or Seth. Oh. Not you, lady. You don't, you don't worry. Your your animal handling. We're not going by yours, thankfully. Because luckily, luckily that was that didn't. Yeah. I'm gonna get kicked. Yeah, the horse, the, the horse would have bucked and kicked and ran away if we were we were going My by the animal goodness. handling. It's so. an elf hating riding horse. I've never thought. <laughs> of it has trauma from an elf in the past. <laughs> While Rin speaking Elvish, <laughs> Seth is also really listening in. I've never heard that before. What is that language you speak? Elvish. Uh, oh, that is your, the language of your people? Supposed to be. It's beautiful. Thank I'm, you. Yeah, wow. You should speak it more often. I like it. Thanks. Don't really have a lot of people to talk to with it, but I'm happy to teach. I, I'll try and learn. Try. <laughs> yeah, wow. He's quite memorized by it. New language he hasn't heard before. All right, so we'll get it all strapped up, ready to go. All right. So you head back to, I assume, are y'all taking a rest or, or whatever here now with your stuff? Because I'm down to close to half hit points. So I'm pretty beaten up. My breastplate has puncture wounds where the teeth tried to crush me. <laughs> the one tooth, tooth still stuck in the breastplate, sticking out. Oh, like, I completely forgot you were just like in its mouth for a good bit. Yeah, hero. <laughs> it's what good eating. Hardcore, baby, hardcore. All right. Um, anyone got any healing ability? Left? Our ranger has cure, cure wounds. Yeah. Who, who, so you're, are you the only one that's injured? I'm the only one that got any real combat. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I stay in the back. Stay alive that way. All right. What happened to Bert? It was very quiet in this combat. Is he getting a bit soft, this new version? Hey, he's be feisty. Go right in there for the eyes, the jugular. Get in there, but... What's going on? I think something about large reptilian beasts are don't work with him. The last time I sent him at, towards one, uh, he was in pieces. Uh, that you said. So he's got a touch of fear now, does he? Uh. Um, I don't know why sharpshooters in my cure wounds. I, I I mean I know why, so I'm not sure if we're supposed yeah, to treat I, it. Unclick it. If you unclick it, it shouldn't come up anymore. All right, let me just let me just ignore that stuff and do this okay. again. Is that ten hit points you've healed me for? Is that correct? Um, that's where I'm a bit confused. Well, nine. And you can cast. I'll take, I'll take the first roll. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't affect the healing point. Yeah, just take the first one. Yeah, and uh, Erica, just so you know, as a fifth level ranger, you can cast four first level spells and two second level spells. So you can also, <coughs> excuse me up your cure wounds to second level and do an ex additional d8 so you're uh you're a curing machine when you want to be the only thing is you did cast uh pass about trace you don't have that one second level spell yeah Ugh, some of the cuts heal up he's still got a few like i said there's still a big tooth sticking out and there's blood trickling down uh the breastplate some of it stopped but he's still bleeding but he's like ah oh, i feel great ah, no problem <laughs> Ah, it's just, just a little one. I appreciate it. That's just the right amount of wounds, Seth Reth. Looks quite manly. Speaking of manly, baby face, what happened to your face? Ah, you know, I couldn't get the stink of the swamp out of my beard, so I don't know when I cut it off. You think it makes me look too pretty? 
Look, makes you look like a, um, yeah, pretty's not the word I was thinking of, but anyway. Nah, pretty ugly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should grow it back, mate. Well, I think I might ride this for a while. You know, if you think of our time here on the island as like a, a season one of some kind of <laughs> show, and then this would be a prelude to a season two. Yeah. All right, baby face. Whatever makes you happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you make me happy, Seth Rathbaugh. Uh, how heroic was that? That damn thing thought it had me, and I got out and it kicked its ass. Did you see that? Uh, it was... <laughs> It was beautiful to watch. Were you worried a little bit? Ah, not much. Ah, I had it under you know, funny thing about the like... funny thing about these uh, thunder lizards—they don't do so well in uh, archery combat. This is my axe that finished it, and this I can tell true. you what—if it had a swallowed me, I would have strangled the bastard from the inside. Yeah, I have no doubt. Yeah. Did you uh? Glorious blade, even taste any blood? Uh, I was under a log, but uh, I, I whispered a few sweet nothings to that beast. It didn't seem to like it too much. Nah, all talks cheap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bloody trees. What's with trees falling on us? I'm a bit, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Trees. And it, it's strange too. We keep getting saved by uh, dinosaurs. You notice that? Yep. We're fighting them, but then they're also saving us. Yep. Something's I don't know whether to, to pet them or to kill them. I think killing them is more fun. Mm. Anyway, I gotta get back to getting this horse ready. I'll give you about a couple more minutes, boss, and I'm ready. I go back to strapping up the last bit of the horse, and I'm ready whenever the group's ready. So Same we're here. going straight without a rest? And I will wait for rest. Okay, so if you all go into camp, you're going to rest? Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, you've got the head there, as you can see. Shaka's with you at, at night to rest. Everybody's still around. Um, uh, as you begin to settle in, uh, do you want to set up any type of perimeter or anything like that? Or, or... Hell yeah, there's big, scary, bloody dinosaurs and raptors around, man. <laughs> I used to last line. And giant croco <laughs> and giant crocodiles. <laughs> I have perimeter. Let me tell you about perimeter. Tiny <laughs> hut. I will break open my book and I will cast it as a ritual cast and I will create the tiny hut. Ten oh. foot radius immobile dome of force. Uh, all horses and hotels. You got it all. Uh, you went to the surprises. <laughs> oh, no, worse than your standard stable. Haven't you ever slept in one of those? We put the horse in here. Uh, might get a little stinky with the, the dinosaur head, but I think I can take care of that with a few cantrips. But here, everybody sleeps in the hut. Can we light a fire in there? You don't need a fire, my friend. It's The temperature inside is perfectly nice. Uh. Oh, you mean to cook? Well, yeah. I don't see why not. Where's the smoke go? It just goes. Ah. Oh. So the smoke can go out, but nothing can come in? Basically, yes. Oh, he's a... Mm -hmm. You're a marvelous man. <laughs> I got this one for camping. <laughs> <laughs> Clamping. All right. All right. So you've got your y'all are are y'all ready to go or? Yeah. So I guess we're all gonna hang out in the hut. All right. So you all are in there. Uh, the night's pretty much progressing. Uh, everybody's I guess asleep, and a Oh, you you, be right. oh, you begin to have like a dream, and you know in this dream, you're in back like inside your 
you know, your laboratory uh, where you're making things and studying and everything. You've got all your 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 stuff going off, your uh, materials, creating uh, potions of all kinds, studying the information all about the world. And it's a dream where you're just full of, and, and getting knowledge. And then you hear a voice in your dream. Aize. Aize. Can you hear yes. me? Oh, yes. Chief Librarian Farouk, is that you? Yes, it is I, Oyeze. Of course, lately I've had a little bit of a cold, so my voice might be a little bit, but don't mind that, don't mind that. The bottom line is I'm calling, or should I say, communicating with you via dream to find out your report. I need to know what you've been doing. What have you learned? Oh. Indeed, I am here. Great librarian, uh, of course I'm using the dream crystal, uh, but uh, I have been faithfully updating my archive, great librarian, assuming that the enchantments still hold and everything I am writing should still be transcribed in the copy you have in your possession. Oh, of course, the island. Uh, well, we have barely scratched the surface, said librarian. I suspect that the island is preventing the archive from reaching you. Uh, there are clues, but getting to parts of the island to investigate is extremely dangerous. Much is currently beyond our abilities. The place is a death trap. You can barely walk a mile without having something massive rolling up and trying to murder us all. Hmm. Tell me, what advantages and things have you gathered on this island that you will bring back to us and be advantage to your great librarian? Um... Uh, as far as what we have been able to discover, we will certainly um, find out uh, the mystery of exactly what is causing the phenomenons on this island. Hmm. Is it a power? Why, why is this island wandering between dimensions? And you... why it's possibly a threat to the Tremitian library? Do you think this is a power that we might be able to possess? Too early to say, but I do believe it is something that should be studied and, if possible, neutralized. And these companions that you have met, can they be trusted? Oh, yes. They're, they're very trustworthy. And as far as they are concerned, I am a sagely adventurer seeking knowledge. And like them, treasure, glory, and a way to get off this blood-cursed island. Probably in that order. Ah, good, good, good. So they trust you then, I take it, and your mission goes well. Uh, they do trust me, the mission goes well. Um, I'm not entirely comfortable with the, some deception, I should say. Uh, that I suppose it's fine. I mean, I am a librarian, and I have not lied to them about that. Hmm. But as to the true nature of the Tunisian library, they do not... They are unaware of it. I'm still not comfortable with deceiving them. I mean, I'm still an analyst. Truth matters to me, and all the deception required for field work is particularly burdensome. Uh, you but must... This is what it is. <laughs> your mission is what comes above all else, Aize. Keep up your guise and make sure they continue to trust you. I will be in further communication. Is there anything else I should know before I... I guess, uh, let me see, what would the word be for you new young folk down there? Uh, <laughs> uh, hang up. Well, before the spell ends, I wanted to ask, is there any progress on the research request that I made? Uh, I seem to have forgotten that request. What was the request, did you say? Uh, regarding orcs and lost orc tribes. Mm -hmm. The description of my companion. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the large eight foot, the large one, yes, yes, who yells and kills things with his, his weapons. Yes, 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 your request has been received, and information will be coming very soon on that, it can be assured, in our next, possibly even our next communication. Oh, excellent. Yes. I'm looking forward to it, because, you know, I wouldn't... I just wanted to help him out. He's my drinking buddy, you know? I wouldn't want to say too much because we don't want to make it hard in the new DM. 
<laughs> in case he has to build something, he can always figure it out. All right, so uh, I'm checking out now. You say, Nanu, Nanu. Very well, Farouk. All right, and then the the dream is over for you, Ayuse, and uh, the night pretty much goes. There's no threat or anything. You're not, you know, so you're good to go on that. And uh, the the day comes. Uh, it's about eight a.m. It's a nice long warm. Rest. What what? You do the long rest. Yeah, everybody got long rest. Everybody's healed up. Uh, you got all your spells back, all that good stuff. Um, uh, so it's about 8 a.m. Uh, it's a nice warm day. Uh, if you want, we can just, I figure, fast track to the village, because I assume that's where you're going, unless you're wanting to just run off and explore or something. But I assume that, you know, Shaka's, you know, we need to get back. I need to check on my people. Let them know I'm okay. They are without a leader. Confusion may be sowing in the ranks. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm going back to the noise. What are you up to, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear any of that. No, no. You didn't hear any of that. So you can't you can't ask him that unless he wants to share, but uh, love it. Love it. Shack it in there right near the end, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> I think we should head back. The damage to my village sustained must have been heavy. I'm worried. All right. Well, are you ready, boss? Let's get moving. Let's go, true. All right, so everybody eats quick little breakfast. You know, you got your protein bars. You open them up and start eating them on the way. Um, and you're traveling, you know, through the, uh, you know, uh, through the, of course, the swamp, finishing that out getting through there you still see dinosaurs as you're walking by you see another one of those triceratops and you are approaching uh after this time you finally get to the village and you could see it uh in the distance again it was all burnt it's been a little bit you see a few of the huts are are, have already been rebuilt and you're arriving up in there and uh as you arrive you know, all the, the villagers, once again, uh, they see you. They're happy to see you. They see Shaka with you. They let up a, a, a applause and everything. There's still a little bit of sadness that hangs in the air. Obviously, there's so much death that occurred, and there's still a lot of destruction. But your victory in bringing Shaka back uh, is, is a lot. It means a lot to them. It begins to spark a renewed hope you could see in, these, in the villagers' eyes. And Shaka gets up uh, on, on the rock. And he begins to to speak, and he's uh, surrounded by you guys. Uh, let me get there. Yeah. As they're coming in, Sethreth climbs up on the back, on top of the T Rex's head. Got the foot up there. <laughs> All right, so you you yeah. got you got. Yeah. Your, I, I didn't. I did not anticipate that. So I don't have a picture. Uh, I don't have a shot with your foot uh, on on the T Rex's head there. Uh, but we do have these other ones, which should be going here if it would just go up to do, do, do. Okay, should be in there. It's not registering up there. Hold on, guys. Little bit of a, a thing here. Let's see if we can get that. Or is that just me? Something just changed. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, there you are arriving in the village. Um, Shaka, again, he, as you arrive in the village, he gets up on the, the rock itself, um, surrounded by y'all right there with him. And he begins speaking and he's, these heroes have once again proved their value to the tribe. Not only, oh, that's the wrong picture. Hold on, darn it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's why. The wrong pick. All right. Um, he gets, he starts speaking. These builders have proved their worth to the tribe once more. 
Not only did they save Mika and stop her from becoming tainted by the island, then they could have ran. Instead, they faced a basilisk of great power and saved, got into the, the potion and the flower to turn her back to normal and brought her back to us. Then, Jatal was killed and a village attacked and these heroes could have walked away. But once more, they took up arms and decided to help us. I do not know how to thank them. There is little more than I can give, but I do know this. On my travels during my few days, a band heading off to see Khan Drago to find him, I came across a woman named Sunny who had been trapped by another tribe. And she told me some information about something you are looking for. And I have it for you here. And he takes out the, a ring. This ring is the ring of Calais. She was mistaken to think that it was still held all the way down south. We had retrieved it long ago as a heirloom for the tribe. But we would not have told outsiders. I give it to you now if it's something that you need. For there is nothing else we can give. We had already given our home and built you our hearth. But anything else you are welcome to. And all the villagers begin to look. They, they're all clapping and everything. Ah, cheering. I will take over as leader of the tribe until our daughter, and she comes forward, is old enough. But again, thank you. And may your journey to, to the gate that I know you are searching for be fruitful. I will speak to you in a little while after the we must first have a funeral for Jital. I will speak to you when it is over. So, at that point, is there anything y'all want to do right now? Before, because he's about to start setting up for a funeral. The ring of Kali, according to my Kali, according to my notes, is what is needed to destroy the the um the Earth Gate. Oh, what a coincidence! <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it is. That is correct. So you've got that in your possession now because of your great heroics and saving Shaka. Uh, so is there anything else y'all want to do right now, though? I'd like, just like to help uh, Shaka prepare. And then I'm going to pull Ren aside. Okay. And uh, Ren, yes. you know that, granted, we're... Uh, we're a tough lot, seasoned veteran adventurers. But I can't help but think that if this village had more archers, more tactics, they could have dealt with that creature much better. Perhaps you can reach reach out to one of their war chieftains, give them some tips, some suggestions, show them your tricks with the bow. You're far beyond what, what they can do. Perhaps next time they'll be more prepared. I'm sure Shaka would love this idea. That is not a bad idea at all. You can teach our warriors whatever you wish. I'd be honored. And Shaka, I'll help you prepare for this funeral. Oh, I'll be attending. You get uh, inspiration for helping with the funeral. And uh, he begins to, to set up everything. He puts Chital on an altar um you guys are, are gathered around behind it he has a a single torch and he, he begins speaking our earth mother gave her life to protect this village i now send her soul to the heavens with this smoke may it rise high enough to touch the gods themselves and he kind of does all return of the jedi and puts uh now, I couldn't set the thing on fire, obviously, so this is the best special effect we could get. <laughs> it's coming up. It so, really takes me out. Oh, oh. Yeah. Darn, no special effect budget. All right, so it comes up, and you see a, a huge flame roar up 
uh and you know it almost seems larger than normal like like the goodness within chital seems to feed the flame itself and this flame you know roars to the heavens as the smoke is going up and wafting up into the the trees and the sun the, the clouds almost seem to part for just a moment <laughs> and, this, and the light hits through the smoke forming some beautiful god rays and you could see a little a tear comes down you know shaka's faith and, and the daughter of jatal and, and shaka is, is crying you know and the rest of the villagers all seem to have their head their heads hanging hung low in a reverent respect uh, for Jatal as she is being consumed by these flames. Remember the very start Seth Breath was getting grumpy and didn't want to kneel? Oh, that's true. I do remember that. Yes, when you first but, met them, so you refused to kneel. He's on, kneeling on the ground, giving the warriors the leap. Oh, oh, that's good. I want to give you inspiration too, but I already gave it to Volric. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know, double, double inspiration, because, you know, we're partying, like, there's 1999, so go ahead, you can have inspiration, too, for you, for your, your act of great honor, you know, right there. Jatal, you can see Shaka, he looks at you, he doesn't say anything, but you're, he meets your eyes, and there's this look like, you ever see the old Indian commercial? where the Indian finds the piece of tr trash, or the Native American, I should say, I don't know the right, finds a piece of trash and there's a single tear. It's like that. Single tear comes down again, another one, as he's locked eyes with you in this look of respect. So, all right. So there's this wonderful respect as you are kneeling for Chital, as the flames roar to the heavens. Is there anything, uh, you know, at this point, you guys, you know, you can see that Shaka is kind of just in mourning. Um, he wants to talk to you, but obviously probably is not in the moment that he's going to talk to you right now. Is there anything you guys want to do while he's kind of in this moment of hanging over Jatal, watching her go up to the sky? I'm checking the no, I, I don't want to talk to him, but I do want to check the star charts uh, that were left for us and uh, just try to suss out the precise location of the Earth gate and the quickest way to get there. Okay. All right. Uh, you are able to obviously understand your own star chart and everything now. So, well, not your own, but you got the information. It was explained to you. Um, go ahead. And uh, with the, if, uh, advantage, rule investigation. With your nice advantage. Hello? Uh oh, did I lose everybody? Hello? Thank you. Wait, 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 oh, wait. <laughs> I thought I lost everybody. I was like, oh crap. Yeah. I thought my internet Sorry, went man. off or something. No, was, my mic was off. I got a 20 and a 25. All right. Well, either way, you, you definitely achieved it. Um, so you're able to determine, after looking at the star chart for a, a little while, you know, it's not instantaneous, but, you know, you really study, begin to look, you know, you, you measure the sky, you know, you take into dates and times, and you're able to determine that the gate is located uh, in the Western Mountains. Um, I'll share that information with the rest of the group. Hmm. Looks like it's time to go some, do some mountaineering then. Mountaineering. About time. How far away is it from where we are, travel-wise? It's about, uh, I'd say about four days travel. It's a little while. It's on the other side of the island. Kind of like, I'd say more like, kind of like west and then north, so like northwest really. So it's a little bit of a trek. It's a shame these lot haven't uh, tamed any pterodactyls for us to fly there on. That'd be great. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I would have thought of that earlier. How cool is that? <laughs> that would have been really cool. <laughs> yeah, still a long way to go. 
four days through this place is like four weeks in hell somewhere else, I tell you. Mm. But if we're going to get back off this island, the only way we can get Bolric off, correct me if I'm wrong, he's there, you would know, we've got to break the curse and that's what we're going to do, right? Oh, hopefully, yes. Well, yeah. according to Shaka, that's kind of part and parcel with destroying these portals. So if we can get that done, I guess I get off too. That'd be good. To be honest, I'm kind of over this place. Doesn't yeah. really grow on you. Well, I thought there'd be more fortune and fame, to be honest. And there's not really much information regarding my past here, so I'm here for you. As a team, that's about it. Seth Rith at some point is going to try and find some time to have a chat to Dior. If now is okay, then he'll do it now. Um, I snuck off during the whole funeral. Um, Death is not a... Yeah, I... You know, I'm not really good when it comes to this kind of thing. Emotions and people crying and people dying, so. Does Sethreth have to search very hard to find you? <sighs> um, no, I think you you can find me in my hut. I will be in my hut. Do I come in? <laughs> yeah, come. I just, sure, come on. Uh, what you see me doing is I'm, I'm like practicing my martial arts. Ah, you have to teach me that one day. You just, you just want to learn everything, don't you? Yeah. You all right? No, not really. We I haven't um, spoken much lately, have we? I know. It's, everything has been so busy. It's like one thing after another. We haven't had a break, so. I think I owe you an apology. For what? what why? I think I judged you far too quickly and harshly in that last combat when you had no choice but to retreat. I'm sorry. I'm still learning a lot about myself and others. I wanted you to know that I was wrong. Just pat the floor next to me. I sit down next to her. Try and cross my long ass legs. <laughs> you don't you don't have to do you don't have to do that. It's just something I've done a long very long time. You you can sit normally. Ah, I'm here to learn. Teach. You wanna say something? Yeah. Um You know, I'm not the smartest person. Yeah, and neither am I. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're not, you know, I, we're not smart people. <laughs> but even though we're not smart, I think we do okay wisdom wise, I guess. I hope so. I mean, I've been around for so long and knowing knowing that um i'm sorry just it just at me so it just I, I, it's making me way worse with my words um well you've been around a long time but i actually have I mean, i've learned a lot in my time but if I'm completely honest with you, <clears throat> I haven't been here very long. How old are you? I'm scared to tell you. You might be upset with me. Except for us, uh, I won't be upset. Well, as far as my adopted family know, going by 
and they consider a normal calendar, I guess, of the moons. My last growth spurt would have been my 16th moon cycle. So, that explains a lot. When I say I'm still learning and I have a lot to learn, that is why. It's I difficult. Just, um, I just put like a, a hand on your shoulder. You're not mad? No, I'm not mad. What? I was worried that you would think less of me as a man if you judged me by my age. No, why would I do that? Most do. I mean, you are quite reckless, yes. <laughs> and you know, you do run into battles without thinking sometimes, but... Yeah, well, that's also the rage, I think. And is that because you're angry? Because you don't know about your past? There's definitely an anger in me. I don't know where it comes from. I think the older I get, I think it's part of who I am or who I where I've come from, I'm not sure. It feels, and this sounds stupid, but it feels natural. The more I tap into it, the more I feel I'm letting myself be who I really am. And that scares me. But sometimes I feel I'm losing control. There's always an anger in me that bubbles. And I don't like it. It scares me. Well, I think I understand that a lot more than you know. I'm the same way. I believe you after I saw when you had your affliction. I can see that now. But sometimes you have to be yourself, you know? I would love to not have to feast on other people and just live my life the way I want to. But I can't do that. You, however, mm. don't be afraid to be yourself. No, I think I'm worried. The true me is maybe is how I look a monster. I don't. I don't want to let that free. I think who I aspire to be is who I want to be. And if I have to fight for it, I will. Mm. Well, take my word for it. The more you fight yourself, the harder everything will be. Mm. I can understand that. Anyway, um, I've got some skin to get ready for our boots. <laughs> and I just wanted you to know, I do care about you a lot. I care about you too. You're like, um, well, now you're like a little brother to me. And I just give, a, I just I give you a hug. I afraid you would say. Seriously, I'm like, I'm so, that's weird. You understand where I'm coming from, right? You I'm also like, understand that I've matured twice the speed of any other person I've been around. By the age of 10, I was already training with the men. And I commend you for that. I just, I can't do that. Uh, see, that's why I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> he gets up and he looks back at you. As much as it sucks and hurts, I understand and I will respect. But my feelings don't change. For you. And he strolls out. I dum, just, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just watch him go and I'm just shaking my head. And, and uh, I, I, my I, I go back to meditate. I go into a meditative stand, um, stance. All right. He goes, cries in the corner somewhere, and then she doesn't like you. <laughs> like, wow, the phenol's really affecting Seth more. Yeah. 
So puberty does that. Yeah. <laughs> I am glad that Diora does not want to be a cougar. <laughs> uh, so here you'll go back and start finding the local village tanners and work alongside them to start tanning the, the skin so at least it's can be rolled up and stored that we can make something out of it okay. and he'll start boiling the teeth and claws to get the flesh off and he'll, the goal will be to make a necklace out of the uh, teeth all right so you you get with the that's you go off to find the tanners and everything that are in the area that depends what they ever call tanners you know obviously they know how to do the skins so you go yep. off to do that and everything uh there's definitely a pot available because you remember in the very i think it was the first or second episode we had that thief who got you know uh well yeah. he ended up on the wrong end of the the fork so mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a big pot where you can throw all the teeth and everything in and the skull, whatever you need to, to get it bleachy white so you can, you know, have your necklace or whatever you're going to do with this stuff. Um, yep. is there anything that anyone else wants to do around town while, or not town, but the village while Sethreth is doing that? Dimitri um, is, uh, he's in the forge forging. Uh, Rin's going to follow up with Shaka to train some of the villagers. Okay. Awesome. All right. Anything else? Is anybody else? All right. So, uh, Rin, uh, how do you want? Do you just want to approach Shaka? Um, how how soon after the funeral? Are we assuming it's like been a day, or is it all in the same? Uh, you could say uh, it's the next day. Y'all, you, you know, go to sleep and everything, and it's the next day, and. Um, you're approaching him uh, in the village uh, with a bunch of other villagers. Let's see if I can bring that up here. I have a shot with a few other villagers that are standing around that you can train. Right. Um, just fo uh, following up with Shaka. Uh, I knew it! You have given us your beds, your food. We, I want to repay you. Whatever oh. you need, I'm here to help. You had said, what is your idea? What would you like to do? I want to train you. I want to train all of you, if you're willing. That is good. You want to train my villagers and my warriors to be better with the archer. With the, with the wood that flies from the sky, I heard that word. Archery. We only know how to use slings. What can you teach us? Well, first, obviously, we need to make some of these. Sure, you have some remainders around. And able to fight, give, give a fighting chance. That's how we're able to save you. You, what did your bow do? Tell us. What is its great power? I, heard, I have heard rumors with its ability to hold things in place. Is that true? You could, bot, you could bind creatures, you could take a life from 50 feet away. Say, keep yourself safe. Mm, that's his great power. This would be useful to my warriors. We could train them, and then we would, like you said, be better prepared for some of the things on this island. I agree to this. When can this training begin? As soon as everyone's ready. All right. So I guess for the sake of argument, you know, for a narrative angle, over the next few days, uh, Seth Reth is working with the Tanners, drying out his uh, skin, uh, doing his bones and his skull. The rest of the group, uh, y'all didn't really say anything. I, I assume everybody's kind of just hanging out, lounging and relaxing. Everybody's got their, their own little hut. So they're probably, you know, after all that travel on the, the jungle, it must be nice to get back to just enjoying a, a nice restful, uh, eating some fruit and, and living the good life and drinking clean water. Um, so, yeah, during those days, you're able to, to train them all 80s montage style. Gonna need a montage. See, nobody, that's for South Park. But you do all 80s montage where you're able to train them over the space of a few days. 
uh, where they start out all crappy, but by the fifth or sixth day, you're amazed that they all seem to have uh, developed a, a very, very proficient skill uh, with the bow. They're able to make their own bows and everything now. Uh, they're able to string them, aim down the target. So you have definitely now improved the defense from that perspective. Um, now, so if something should happen, Kong Drag is already dead. But if another Thunder Lizard or something should roll up, uh, you can see that Shaka, you know, he, he is already, from what your time training or training the guys, he had spoke to you and let you know he's going to be putting them up, you know, on the perimeter, on the wall and everything uh, to make sure that nothing can get close. Tony, yes, sir. being that this thunder lizard was so huge and we got a really decent amount of skin, I was hoping as a gift to Shaka, I might be able to make an item or have one of the skinners make an item for him, whether it maybe some arm, arm greaves. Some what? Some arm greaves. Arm greaves. Okay, some greaves. Um, yeah, I don't... can give to him. And just as maybe, and if I, if we're, well, first, I'll, am I able to get that done in that time period? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't see why not. It's a magical world. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely, uh, for the sake of fun, you have got that done. You're able to produce the tanners. You know, they are, you know, these people have been living on this island for years. So they are very, very good with skins. Maybe not as much with archery. But with skins, they've got that down pack. So, yeah, they're able to quickly help you and, and make something like that for shot. And so the day before we leave, I'll present it to him. But I'll also get Dimitri to maybe do engravings on it. If he can do his little bit of flair and touch to it. And then I'll present it to him as a gift from us for Man. his loss. I just want to keep on giving you all inspiration for your cool RP thoughts. But I can't keep slinging out inspiration. Okay. Then the last episode will be like two minutes long, cause y'all. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta make it exciting. All right. Um, so yeah, you're able to do that. Uh, you make it um, for, for Shaka, and, and everything else. Uh, as you approach, how do you how do you want to present the gift, and what do you want to put uh, on it, Iyze? What do you want to do on the? On yeah, the... I was gonna say I'll probably ask Iyze if he wants to write an inscription on the inside of them too. Yeah. So what do you oh. what do you want to put in there, Iyze? I'll take my quill and I'll put an inscription on the inside of his boots. I mean, of his what are the arm braces? Yeah, like yeah. kind of like Reeves bracers. Yeah, ceremonial uh, bracers. Yeah. Uh. I'll put uh I'll put a a commission uh, proverb in there. Don't play with a skinny cow; it could be the bull's mother. <laughs> <laughs> I've never um, heard that before, but I get it, which is interesting. All right. And so then, um, and then um, yeah, I asked about a pair of dinosaur skin boots. <laughs> if anyone can make them for me. And if not, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I promised y'all dinosaur skin boots. Y'all been wanting some skin or something for a long time. Y'all got some kind of some skin fetish or something. I don't know. But here's a, everybody can have their dinosaur skin boots. Um, yeah. uh, and, and as a plus for the fun of it, uh, they give you stealth checks uh, uh advantage on stealth checks against giant crocodiles for some strange reason <laughs> there, there you go stealth checks on giant crocodiles all right so everybody got their boots um how do you want to approach approach shaka with your gift um i'll go up to our leader and present it to our leader so that he can pass it on Volric, I thought Shaka might like these. Aize has made an inscription, a message on the inside. Dimitri's helped me and the Skinners craft it. I thought it might be a good heirloom, but the leaders can pass on from generation to generation. Would you like to bless it and give it to him? I'm not good with words. I would, but I want you to come with me. This is from your heart, even if it is from my mouth. 
Okay. I follow along. Okay, so we come up. Okay. So Shaka. As you yeah. approach Shaka, you could see, you know, he still has that kind of that he's the greet, you know, he obviously the funeral was a while back, but there's still a little grieving, but he's more composed, not, you know, not tearing or anything anymore. He sees he's approaching, you know, the guards try to stop you, but not stop you, but, you know, he waves you come closer. My friends, what can I do for you? Well, this relationship has been quite mutual, my friend. We've learned a lot. We've helped each other. And at the end of the day, we're hoping to change this entire island for the better. And no offense, but get the hell off of it. <laughs> but that being said, we honor you, your matriarch, and the rest of you. Sethreth here, he prepared a gift with help by Aize and I believe some of your uh, workers. Sethreth? Yeah. We pitched in from the skin from the creature. I, I, I thought it would be good heirloom for, for the leadership of your clan to pass down. He takes... Uh, oh, go ahead, keep him. No, he's, he's, he's feeling a bit awkward, so he's just going to... Uh, uh, so he kind of like he he looks he takes the bracers you know and looks at him, turns them over his face is you know the face of a leader he doesn't like go all crazy like and then he he puts them on these are a kingly gift a great honor has been bestowed upon me not only will I wear them but you they will be the heirloom that you speak of they will be passed down. From one earth mother to the next, I will wear them until our daughter is ready. But know that for all time, from now until Tanora is no more, every leader shall wear these greaves and know that they came from the heroes that saved our island. Or at least we hope to and you don't die. But, so, <laughs> you know, that is what we appreciate. And he goes, he takes the greaves and he does kind of like Wonder Woman. <laughs> You know, puts them together, and everybody, you know, the rest of the tribe does the same thing. Ha! 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 And they're all cheers going up. Ah! Thank you. But before you leave, you should know where you are heading is going to be dangerous. There is something I want to give you, but there are many creatures that could be out there that inhabit this island. I had Mika make a new salve for you. And, you know, one of the one of the tribes people comes and they, they hold it out, you know, in reverence, and he takes it, you know, waves them away. This is for you, my friends. If you coat your weapons with this, it will be as if they were coated with silver and able to strike things that only could be struck as such. Take it. You're anticipating it will need this. Who knows? But probably got a good idea. <laughs> well, thank you. You are welcome. We again. I hope you. Will we ever see you again if your mission is successful? Well, here's how I see it this island. Plenty of adventuring left to do, but generally you want to be here willingly. So if we can get this curse lifted, yeah, we've had a bit of island fever and want to get off, but I can see us coming back. I'm a boatman by heart, by background. First thing I do is come visit you here. And we will hopefully, mm -hmm. we will see each other again. Until then, strength and honor, my friends. And may you, all of you find success and happiness in whatever your paths may take. And he kind of gives you like a little bow, which is a great thing because, you know, he's kind of like the king now. So for him to kind of bow to you a little bit, you know, that's a, you know. 
So a threat in turn bows back. So that's a huge sign of respect from him. Alright. Alright, so uh, you've you've given that to him. He's got these awesome breachers. Uh Rin, you you notice around camp uh, that there's more and more people beginning to, you know, make bows and everything. Little kids are even, you know, starting to look at the bows and their eyes are open wide. They see people shooting them and, you know, the, you know, the arrow flying through the air and hitting the target. So you can tell that you've done a lot of good here. Uh, there's a very good chance that, you know, these people are going to be able not just to protect themselves, but your skill will also help them in hunting. So they'll be able to feed themselves better as well. So your uh, one lesson will probably add great prosperity uh, to them. Um, when Rin is seeing this, uh, she goes, she approaches Valric, assuming we're all in similar distance to another. Are y'all, have y'all left? Are y'all wanting to leave now and, and travel? Still here, right? I was just waiting for everyone to finish. I figured everyone had stuff to do. Sethroth is doing, um, the god's work and getting us all lizard boots. Um, Rin is training the guard, um... Uh, Ulrich is, I don't know what Ulrich's doing actually. I, um, <laughs> uh, Dimitri's building, um, more cat creatures, and, um, and that's, and I figured when we were all done, I'd approach Ulrich and say, hey, uh, shall we be off to destroy the gate? Yeah, just waiting for, uh, sun to go down. I think we've said our goodbyes. Rin has things in place. As a matter of fact, looks like Rin wants to talk to me. Yeah, uh, even though you didn't have to, thank you for le giving me that idea. I was taught to shoot for my dad and his dad and his dad's dad. It's just second nature. It, it's how we feed ourselves. It's how we protect our village. It, didn't feel all that special, but felt like felt like it mattered. So, thank you. I think. Uh, it it did matter. It does matter. And you know, Rin, you matter to our group. I don't need to tell you how much you helped against uh, Kong. How many arrowheads did you have to pull out of that thing? You're uh, you're a talent, but even more so. You might be the biggest warrior of all of us here. You never falter. Never. I appreciate that. I know you can count on me, Rin. We've been through plenty already, even before the rest of the group. Bert will protect you all as well, <laughs> as long as I'm here. Uh, well, truth be told, I just brought you along because of Bert. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Thank you, Volrick. My friend. And moving yeah, on. That's evening. Yep. Ready to go. You want to take the break now, Tony? Uh, yeah, we can take one now. Um, that's that, that's fine because we're heading out, and you know that's fine. All right. Um, anything anybody uh wants to say? Uh, like I said, for the viewers that might not have caught us, uh. Last week, uh, this is going to be this show. And the next show is going to be my last show. Uh, as much as I, I love playing, uh, you know, with the guys, and I love playing with Gen Con. Uh, the reason I'm leaving is actually quite mundane. It's nothing exciting. I'm not, uh, I haven't hit the lottery or anything. Just uh, going to be trying to get some normal employment to, uh, you know, <laughs> get a check every week. Uh, I have a family, so I got to kind of, Kind of gotta do that, and this show is wonderful. But yeah, it's time consuming. Uh, setting all this stuff up and setting up all the scenes, so I gotta kind of focus on that. But they have a wonderful DM is coming. You might recognize them uh, again. I don't want to say any names. I almost, almost did right there. I gotta stop myself. <laughs> all right, so, but yeah, if they want to say anything, he's awesome. You're gonna love it. Um, they're gonna be doing as uh, as as uh, Eric has already said all the cosplay, and as you can see, their cosplay is pretty much. Uh, I don't think there's any better cosplay uh i mean maybe with shows like critical role like a top budget but even then you guys kind of outshine them if you ask me i mean y'all have the contacts and everything so in my opinion y'all cosplay is better 
But other than that, I'm going to get going. If anybody else wants to say anything, uh, oh, everybody's gone anyway. So, Eric, if you want to say anything, I'll be yeah. back. Yeah. Well, in this armor age, I don't get, a lot, get around a lot during the show. But, uh, yeah, so for uh, people watching now or watching later on uh, Twitch Replay or YouTube, um, we're going to be having season two on September 18th. So we're not even missing a week, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of great things, right? So first of all, um, many episodes, right? Again, I, I believe it will be 18 next week. I, if I heard earlier was correct um, from Tony. Uh, and all of those we have um, archived now for ever-ish. Uh, you know, we have them on the Nerdbotry YouTube channel. We have them on the Gen Con TV YouTube channel. Uh, confirmed with the uh, CEO that they're going to keep them up there on Gen Con TV. And uh, so, you know, we can, we can, and you can always go back and watch all those. Um, very unique with the Dwarven Forge and uh, what I think, you know, kind of fun player dynamic. Of course, uh, the cosplay, which is a lot of work, but, you know, we do all this because we want to entertain you guys. Um, you know, most of us do this because it's a very passionate hobby of ours. And we'd love to share it and share it in a way that's a show, right? Um, on September 18th, uh, we're going to be having season two. It'll be in a new setting. Uh, we don't want to give that away, but it's a, a known setting also in uh, Forgotten Realms. And um, the Dungeon Master is a friend of mine. I used to work with him and he has his own uh, Twitch channel. So he's not inexperienced with uh, DMing on Twitch. Um, he has a plethora of voices, not the same kinds as Tony, but the same variety as Tony. And uh, he's very passionate about what he does, um, very art articulate. Um, and uh, we're gonna be playing uh, you know, his game with, I don't wanna say how many, but the majority of the characters and players, well, the majority of the characters will be back on the 18th. All the players will be back on the 18th. And uh, we're going to have a new show name, which will be um, kind of uh, revealed once we have the logo done and, and all those good things. And, uh, and we'll be having a new Facebook page to promote that, um, all the kind of related bits. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. There's, there's, stuff, there's stuff kind of um, in the works. And to be clear, again, season two, new DM, but everything is canon. So everything that has uh, happened thus far, uh, that still happen. Um, the magic items, the leveling, the character interactions, all that uh, has is going to be carried over. Um, and uh, that's it. We have Jack back. So if Jack wants to uh, talk at all. Yeah, just carrying on from what you said. You know, we're, it's going to be a new season. It's going to be very exciting. And uh, some of us will follow through and some of us won't, but uh, in person, we'll be all there. And uh, also bear, uh, be patient. Um, there will be some little um, bugs that may be for us to iron out as we develop the uh, Facebook page and such. But yes, we'll get up and fully running and make sure it's as smooth a transition as possible. Um, and regarding myself and my business, I have a laser cutting and engraving business where I can make unique things. Um, and some of those things I make for tabletop gaming. Um, I'm uh, developing a new web page at the moment, will be up soon. That's also going to have a pop up market where I, where I sell very unique, different things. Um, do you guys want to see something that hasn't been advertised yet? Oh. Big preview. As I unbox a totally new item that's going to be coming to my webpage that my business will be selling. Um, just quickly, anyone out there been watching the new Game of Thrones series? Any uh, possible dragon fans out there? because I have found some pretty cool, unique items. And one of them is dragon eggs. A little baby dragon in there. Oh, I was muted. 
Yes, yes, I, that, that's, I, I, that sounds cool. Let me check. Holy crap. That's awesome. And wow, they come dude. Special nesting, and <laughs> it all glows. It turns on a big light. So you can have your baby dragon keep lit up, which I don't think you'll probably be able to see the lighting in this. How much is that? Setting. I wouldn't mind getting that. How much is that? And there's different colored dragons. Um, I'm looking retail about around 55 to $60. And that includes the lit up base as well. Wow, that is, that's a good and, price too for that. That's a good deal. Um, I'm trying to keep it as close to cost as I can within reason. I still need to make a profit as a business after all the export and importing. But, um, and if you look at that in US dollars, that's probably what, 45 US or 40 US. So cheap. Um, and it's not too heavy. So postage to the States won't be a problem. So you're probably looking all up with postage to the States, I'm guessing around 50, 55 US. Now you could probably actually charge for that, for the egg that lights up with the base, you could charge more than 50 bucks probably. You know. Yeah, trying to keep it affordable. Um, it's early days testing the waters. I'll be, I've got, I've been pretty busy with some of the stuff I've got in the background here. Um, I'm even looking at uh, even stuff for kids. So, you know, with children, bear with me, and some of the fidget stuff that kids like playing with at the moment, these are little llamas, and they come into a bracelet the kids can play with, the unicorns, so yeah, delving into different things for children as well, and they'll be put on my page. Uh, under the pop-up market section that's coming new on our webpage. So things like more collectible stuff is something I really want to push into developing as well as a little bit of the kids, um, more affordable, cheaper options. So yeah, we're expanding, I guess, in some ways. Um, but yeah, my main focus still will be developing some of the D&D stuff, which I'm sure people have already seen, but awesome dice towers that have got magnets, secret compartments in the back with magnets to keep all your stuff nicely stored away. Well, they, yeah. were, secret, they were secret compartments until you tell everybody. Yeah, now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, cool. I'll have the magnets stuff. They're, but, they're yeah. great. And so uh, to piggyback here, so this cool sword was made by Jack of Project H2. Uh, yep. It does glow. My battery's a low, so kind of at the moment, it's kind of doing a, a flickery thing, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he'll do lots of cool custom stuff. Um, in addition to uh, the eggs and the other bits he's been uh, promoting just now. Yep. So yes, very creative things. Um, and look, if you've got something unique you want made, get in touch with me, and if I can do it for you, I definitely will. So do shields, axes. And you don't have to go to the full extremes that Eric and I have gone. You know, they do cost a fair bit of money, but I can do much more simplified versions that are far more affordable too, that you can even paint yourself to keep the cost down. Thank you. I would love it. The Conan Atlian sword or however the heck you pronounce it. That's what I'd like to get one day. That'd be I'm awesome. Working on that one. And it's that in the design awesome. phase. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. I love that sword. I th there's some ones online, but you're, I, I think I'd rather get it from you because the detail that you put into Eric's sword is, is bar none. So I, I can't wait to see mention, what you do with the Conan sword. With the pop-up market, I'm also investing in the foam weaponry. So for LARPing or just cosplay. So I've actually bought the, <laughs> the hammer. sword and it's on its way. <laughs> Um, I've also got um, Wonder Woman's sword. It's coming. And these are things I'll be selling on, on my side as well um, at affordable prices. I find a lot of businesses are really overly marking these up. Um, you know, it's just some of the markup that some of these businesses are putting on is ridiculous. So I'm hoping I can come in at a more affordable um Great that I can draw in people to buy it from me instead of paying way too much. So yes, other things to look for. Oh, that hammer is awesome. My six-year-old would be running around hitting everything with it. Hey, Chris, you back, bud?
I'm here. Yeah. All right, we're ready. All right. Okay. All right. So you guys have decided to, you know, you were you're going out, um, traveling. Uh, I assume uh, you let me know any differently. There's nothing else you want to do before you leave. You're you're heading out. Everybody's fully rested. Obviously, it's been days. You've got your lizard boots. All that's done. And got plus you got more skin left. You got a lot of you know tanned hide left. So you got future patches of Kong skin. So who knows what you can make. Um, you guys head on out, uh, traveling across the island. Uh, is there anything you want to do? How are your, what order are y'all walking in or anything like that? Or Ooh, wrong pick. I think our usual, right? So we have, um, Rin and Sethreth towards the front using their survivor roles to track and also look for traps and things with Sethreth being a little more in front because he's better with the traps. Okay. All right, so Rin and then Sethreth and then who's behind Sethreth? I'm sorry. I believe it's actually Sethreth and Rin. Ah, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. bad. If I remember correctly. Gotcha. Who's behind you then, Rin? Um, either Volrick or... Probably Vivi. Yeah. I just... Yeah. Keep, keep right. the, the general close. Should I assume that Ayize's <laughs> in all, all the way in the back, or is Ayize behind Volrick? Ayize in the middle would be good, so behind Volrick. What do you reckon, Ayize? Uh, I would like to be second from last. That would be behind Volrick, then. Which is only five of us. So that... Uh... I don't get smacked in the back. No. Yeah. I might fold up like a pair of dirty socks. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Okay. So you guys are traveling on the island. Uh, today, the weather, like I said, isn't too bad. Uh, again, it's like, you know, pretty much our time of year, September now, about the same uh, there. So it's not extremely hot, not extremely cold. And as you're going along, um, let's go ahead and, uh, Sethreth, give me your good old-fashioned perception. Oh, yeah. I'm seriously squinting today. Don't have my contact. Here we go. 23, baby. 23? Woo! That's, that's some strong, strong perception. All right, you can hear, uh, some kind of, like... Like heavy, almost like heavy breathing, uh, from one of the a bush that's probably about just twenty feet away from you. That's one of those perverted bushes. Perverted. Yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of stream. <laughs> that's the only. That's my only fan stream. Breathe. All right. In the bush, I can hear someone breathing heavy. Can you see anything with your eyes? They're better than mine. Rin takes a closer look and as soon as my sheet loads. <laughs> well, it's not so much a hear, it's a, a see, it's a hear thing. Like you, so if you want to roll your perception to see what if you can, rolling? you can roll perception to see if you hear it as well. Elfin. Wow, ears. you hear, you hear it even better <laughs> than, uh, than Sethra. So apparently you can, you can hear like this, this, this breathing. You recognize Do I, you? Can I tell what if it sounds like a humanoid or a creature? Um, good question. And this is up on the path ahead of you. You notice that it's like it's as you're walking. It's like a bush that's kind of like in front of you. So, uh, go ahead and give me a nature. Sixteen for me. I gotta stop closing this because every time it takes a second to load. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I my ears are great. My brain is like on empty. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can hear it, but you don't know what the heck you're hearing. It's like I hear a sound. It's like what is that song? What is it? What is it? 
Just what about uh, my, my but you you, you can hear it. it sounds almost like uh like guttural but feel kind of like feline at the same time i'm not sure it might be a cat a large cat i'm not sure tell you what why don't you go back to Bori? let him know uh, i'm gonna go up when you're both ready maybe get you to go a little flank left do your flank right Boric and i can go up and draw the trap out and you guys can flank it pass it back to the boss i'll wait I'll sit there and keep i hate to use Bert as bait but he could draw it whatever that thing is out nah i'm happy to do it once you two get in the flank right you ready Rin goes back, shares the same information, and gives the plan of how we're going to approach it. Okay. That there's some some creature in a bush, and I'm like, if seeing as how all our travels have gone, I doubt it's a simple stray. <laughs> you doubt it's a what? A simple stray. Well, yeah, <laughs> it, it could be a house sh- cat that could, got loose. Could be a stray kitty. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, you never you never know. You never know. All right. All right. I think that's a fair enough plan. Right. So you guys, who you guys, uh, Seth Threth, you get in front of it, and then who flanks it? I'll flank it. All right. So you'll flank it from behind or on the side, Bori? Uh, I guess, I guess from behind. From behind. Okay. Or someone be very stealthy. But... All right. Well, when I see them starting to flank, I'll fully stem up and purposely just look like I'm sort of just waiting around for the rest of the group to catch up. So I'm become more of the center of attention, hopefully for it. All so right. Do you need to do a deception or? Are you trying to act? I would say, well, yeah. well you know, uh, go ahead and give me performance. <laughs> oh God, this is going to be good. Minus one. 11's not bad for me. All right, uh, your performance is good enough for uh, for this situation that you're causing, uh, as you perceive it, you know, I guess a distraction because it's not doing anything. It's just the the breathing. As you all get around it, though, you get in the flank positions. You're you're in it. Um, I'll actually show you. You could tell me if you're set up in the way you want to be set up, so we know for sure. Okay. 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 Is that the way y'all want to be set up there? Is that a manticore hiding in the bush? A manticore? No. <laughs> Not a manticore. <laughs> Not All a right. manticore. Well, I'll, 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 happy, I'll move forward and hopefully draw it out the trap out. All right. So as you do that, um, you actually, he, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. Um, you catch the smell. Give me another perception real quick. Okay. As you're right getting closer. 18. 18. All right, so as you get closer to this thing, you catch the smell of what actually smells like, uh, strange enough to you, like herbs, like food and, and herbs. Oh, this strange. All right, I know you're in the bush. Come on out. Won't hurt you if you act, if you stay behaved. Come out. As you do that, as you say that, it speaks back. I appreciate. It almost has like a feline tone, and you're, it's like you're shocked that you hear a voice back. It's like, wow, I appreciate you coming closer. They didn't think you'd fall and approach. And they thought you'd stay back. Go ahead. Uh, don't worry. It's not a surprise. Because <laughs> I know everybody's like, every time I go out in it, you get get. <laughs> so it's not a surprise. You guys were aware enough. But you see from the sidelines coming out, and now we're on a hunting expedition and it looks as if we have found 
meat. And from the side, coming out, approaching, you got two this way and one there. And what you see, I'll put it on the screen for you. Are we getting attacked by Tiga? <laughs> it looks like it, right? Uh, you are getting the food. You are getting attacked by. Oh, my eyes are getting so bad I can barely see anything. All right. You see that and uh let's get everybody give me a nature roll to see if you kind of know what it is you've heard stories 18. oh yeah you're gonna know anybody with a, a 12 or higher would know what this is wow he's a look at his score 22. <laughs> he's a definitely knows he's a knows how the mating cycle even is <laughs> One of two things. <laughs> If it's one thing we're getting there, if it's the other, we have a chance. The, and these things, they look kind of like half, half man, half tiger, like a mix of tiger and, 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 and humanoid form. It's really crazy. Uh, anyone with, like I said, a 12 or higher, you... I, I you, rolled a one, so I yell, ah, mad dogs! It's a dragon! <laughs> it's it's a dracolich. lich Run! No, all right. So yeah, the one obviously uh, you think it's a, a, a mad dog, but for everybody with twelve or higher, you recognize these things as were tigers. Ah, were ah, tigers. <laughs> a were uh, tiger. Obviously, an intelligent creature, right? Uh, you. What was your score? A Yize would know that. A Yize would know that they're uh, moderately intelligent. You know, capable of, capable of basic strategy, like they know who to go after first and stuff like that. But they're can not going to um, come up with a, a war strategy either. Can I monologue? Sure. Now, come on. Do we look like the kind of morons that would walk through this jungle if we weren't capable of defending ourselves? Look at our feet. And I hold up a boot. And this is the skin of a great thunder lizard. That's the last thing we killed. And you want to eat us? Have you lost your freaking minds? I know you're not stupid, and you're actually quite attractive, if I might say so myself. So we might feel a bit guilty, but not so guilty that we wouldn't mind put, you know, up in our game and putting on some tiger fur. So, <laughs> do you yeah. want to throw down or do you want to walk away alive and unskinned? I'll tell you what. Um, and I and know, go ahead, go I, ahead. I, I'd like to add to that. Sure. I say, yeah, aside from the thing you said in the middle that was kind of weird, I should also warn you, the last three combats we've had, giant dinosaurs came to save us. Yeah, you might want to listen to Aize. He's got a point. How about you just move on, find a prey that's not going to turn you into the prey. All right, so who, who really is the main talker here? Uh, Yize, for sure. All right, so Yize, uh, and I think one of your buddies can give you inspiration on this. Uh, give yeah. me a, can, I'm going to make this really cool. If you actually get this performance, uh, we'll have it where something really interesting happens because of your your speech of showing, you know, the skin of your former foes. Does anybody have the ear necklace? Like, can you hear the me? Of your fallen oh. foes, the, the ear necklace? Can I get an advantage on this if someone else has uh, performance as a... Person? I wouldn't say it, you're not going to get advantage, but someone gave you their inspiration, which would give you an extra 1D, what, 1D4. Uh, so you'd be okay, able because to... Because I don't have any skill in performance. Ooh. Um, um, it's, it's just a straight roll. Um, I'll roll D20 and I'll use my um, inspiration. Yeah, 16 or higher, buddy. Come on. Something cool is going to happen. <laughs> 14 plus D4. Hang on. Oh, come on. Come on. Just roll two. Come on. Two is all you need. There's a 50% chance of that. Roll a six. Oh. Damn it. No, it's D4, right? Yeah, D4, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, roll sure. a four then. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, you my God. No, you, you only get inspiration. one inspiration. Oh, uh, what? I don't, you can't double inspiration. Dang <laughs> it. I missed it by one. <laughs> double, double, double inspire. <laughs> Uh, but you did. That was almost, that was close, man. One away. 
Uh, I'll tell you what I will do is if someone else wants, I'll get let put up one more chance uh, if they want to step in to try to say, well, now, hold on. You know, but got to make it good. Give me a good speech. I'm negative one at performance, so surely somebody else got a bit of stat, Eric? You got to or... RP it. Um, R you thinking, or... You, you're going to make Seth Threat do this? Are you serious? No, I, I, I'm just, I'm waiting to see if, if for Ren to step up, but even though it seems a bit random. Well, uh, here's the thing, folks, and I turn back to uh, my allies. You see these uh, dog people here. If it wasn't us, it'd be somebody else. Maybe somebody from that village. I say, if they want to row, we give him a row. Besides, and I look at Seth Reth, it'll be fun. Ooh. He's got a point. All right, kitty cats. <laughs> and they, they, as they, as they hear good. that, they say, you'll make a tasty meal. <laughs> and Do she, you know how and many times I've heard that? <laughs> Probably like 50 or 100. I look across at Vorik. Well, I need some new socks. Everybody uh, wants to eat the elf. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm not tasty. <laughs> Everybody's tasty Diora. in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, look at Diora, and I just point to Ren. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I want your blood. <laughs> All right, let, let's beat up these cats. All right, so... The battle begins with the kitty cats, the rare tigers that you've met on your travels to the mountains, ambushed on the island, looking for food. Who knows how they got here? You could always kill them or see what happens. All right, so you tell me the camera y'all want, whatever one y'all want. Here we got the tripod set up for you. Or we can do the stationary. We'll start like that. So the bush. Pops out of the bush, and rah, but y'all have that thing flanked. Uh, that thing is, you know, right there. So it's 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 not looking, you know, not safe. But it also doesn't look very worried because its friends are here too. So and first, that kind of, is that the kind of was the leader the one talk doing the most of the talking? What did you say, Bud? Was that the one that was doing most of the talking? Yeah, the one that was like, yeah, wow, you yeah. fell for the trap. You walked and approached where we could easily catch you. Seth Rith will concentrate on that one. All right, so you're going to beat the heck out of it. All yep. right. New socks. Uh, first is actually Wear Tiger 4, but that one's all the way in the distance. So we'll go ahead and number them right quick for you with the laser pen. Do, 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 do. We got one, two... Three, three, four. So this is number four. We're Tiger Four. It is uh, approached to you, and it runs up using its movement to get right up uh, behind. Uh, we'll do. Let's see. I don't. I want to be fair. Fifty, fifty percent chance of who it's going to attack here. Oh, darn! I can't get my dice roller there. There. One to three is the Diora. Four to six, it's a Yeeze. All right, I rolled a crit one. It's poor Miss Dior. So this were tiger in this this half human form, you know, a half humanoid form, you know, and, and as you can see in the picture, these things they have the the maws and face kind of a tiger, but it's a little bit more blunt than their hands. Their paws kind of almost reflect hands with like the nails at the end. So as this thing runs up, and it goes to to Claw, uh, do, 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 do. If I could just get this, hold on, guys. Roll 20 is slow in here. Hold on. Everybody's probably on the internet in my house. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, so it moves and it goes to the pounce in its hybrid form. Uh, the target must have seen a DC 14 strength statement, though, or be not thrown. So go ahead, uh, Diora. Roll it. No! No! 
So this Yora! this were tiger pounces onto Yura, and it makes a bonus attack here uh, of a bite. I'll give I'll give I'll give Diora my uh, inspiration. Oh, knew that would come in handy. So Diora, you now have that inspiration. So it makes the bonus attack of the bite. Am I rolling again? Yeah, inspiration again. means inspiration means you get reroll. Okay. Sixteen. There we go. Oh, I thought. All right. So there you go. You are free out of it. Uh, I missed that. Well, I'll just do a bite then. So you stand up. You do the bite because he technically has a multi attack. So I'll just use my last attack for that then. Since you evaded the pounce, we'll just do a basic bite. So didn't get much damage. Uh, what is the bite on that? Do do do. Oh, that's You're a right. very one d ten plus three. That's like nothing. So let's see what you get right here. Ten. Oh my god, look at that. Plus three for four four points. Nice one. So this thing doesn't really bite you. It's almost like it it kind of like nibbles you a little bit on your yeah, hand. As he, as, he, as he does that, I, I let my own things down. And I'm like, I have a set of those too. And I get in a fighting stance. Ooh. All right. So that were tiger, it's made its move. It is right next. Let me put where it's at on the screen here so people can see it. It is right up on Dior. Tried to pounce and missed. But it's right there. And now it is boop, 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 Volric's turn. Ah, already. Cool. Yep. Well, you had the next right. highest uh, initiative, 13. Cool. Okay. Um, I will run towards the uh, the nearest uh where tiger that's closest to Rin. So in relation to Rin, I want to engage the tiger that would be able to maybe get to her. All right. Oh, also, Dior, you have to roll uh, real quick. Constitution. Just hit Constitution real quick. Uh, uh, a a save or? Just straight saving throw. Yeah, Constitution saving throw. Just hit it. Uh-oh. 11. So you are cursed now. Well, we won't even say it just yet. We'll let that RP up on the next sleep. <laughs> uh, is it worth using up my inspiration on this? Uh, it so. would be. It would be. I think it would be. This would be the time to give her your inspiration. I think All it right. would. All right. You got my inspiration, girl. So <laughs> roll that 1d4, Dior. No, it's a, so inspiration. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Reroll. Yeah. It's not an attack. Not an attack. All no, right. I got a six. No. No. Well. We tried. The gods want you, apparently, to have this. Uh, I'll tell you now for game's sake, but your character doesn't know yet. But you now have Were Tiger Lycanthrope. All right, so on a cool note, a vampire Were Tiger. Holy sh... We just created that show, that movie, uh... What was it? With the vampires and the werewolves? Uh, oh, um, the old one. Um, Underworld. Underworld. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Underworld. So you're a vampire uh, tiger hybrid. That's pretty awesome. That's All good. right. So it's Bulric's turn now. All right. So yeah, as I said, I want to move towards the uh, rare tiger that's closest to Rin. Okay. Is that within 30 feet? Uh, uh, I'd say yes, because either which one, you can't make it to that one, but they're about the same distance. The one in the bush compared to the one over here, they're roughly the same distance, Eric, both about 15, 20 feet. Okay, yeah, so pick one for me, uh, and I'll run up. Yeah, you you might as well uh, get behind the one you're flanked, because you you got this one flanked, so it's right there. And I, I'm going to come up with my uh, sword glowing red, but then the last second I'm going to bash it with the hilt of my sword using an unarmed attack. Unarmed strike. Okay. Then you're using your sword for this attack, right? Yeah, the although hit. it's an unarmed strike, so it's going to be half damage or whatever it is uh, for Um But that's smooth and roll. So. Okay. so it's kind of a weird kind of gray area because technically oh, your, nice. so your sword is technically magical, right? So you're using the blunt end, uh, uh, you're using the blunt end of the sword. So I kind of, I'm, te I'm technically to give this to you, I'm swayed. 
Uh, Thomas, I, give this to you. I'm fine if you don't, because I'm just using this as an improvised weapon, right? So okay. that's what on our combat, or the, sorry, the... Because uh, technically, you know, I'd have to say that if it's just normal bludgeoning damage, uh, then it, nothing okay. ha nothing happens. Nothing happens. Oh, they, oh, they, take, they take zero damage from uh, from that? Damage, da half. yeah. You you know how it works. You know you know the deal. Well, so there's there's a difference in uh, to damage. In most, yeah, it's not resistance. It's, it's not resistance. It's not resistance. Gotcha. It's immunity. It's yes. Cool. Yes, sorry. Okay, yes, so sorry. that's fine because I hit, so I can do my grapple. So grapple him up. Grapple. Yes, grab his paws as he's as he's snatching on the claw. Arr, arr. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> not a dog, but it's okay. All right. <laughs> He rolled a one. Okay. He's, uh, he's still confused. Um, here we go. Okay, so grapple. Go. So many windows for you to go through here. Okay, advantage. Yeah, roll 20 is running slow tonight, too, so. Okay, 25. Oh, man, I think you're going to definitely cut it. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. You got him grappled. He yep. is grabbed by... <laughs> All right, and then as, cool. And then as uh, uh, I'm going to use my action surge, and I'm going to go ahead and try and um, shove it to the ground, so it'll be, I'm basically grabbing it by the neck and just mm. put it to the ground, mm. if I can. So another second, second set of rolls for us. I, I rolled basically the same thing. Sixteen. Go. Sixteen. So. Ooh, Ty. Well. So this, Ty, Ty, Ty goes to the defender. So I've just grappled it, but did not shove it, and that is my turn. You're 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 meaner than I am because I usually give. But anyway, I usually would give it to you, but we'll roll with it. So where Tiger does not go to the ground, but you're still holding this thing, man, as its claws are, you know, trying to to get to you. You know, you're holding it back, and the rest of the team sees this this epic battle. Did you go to your nine foot form? Yes. Okay, let me put your other mini on. Nine foot form. All right, so Vorik has him all tied up at the moment, and that is uh, Were Tiger one. So when it's Were Tiger one's turn. It has only thing it's gonna try to do is get the heck out of there. All right, so, or attack with this little card, maybe bite, we'll see. Uh, where Tiger 3's turn, so that is the one over there. It's gonna approach, uh, one, two, hold on a second. Yeah, I can make it. All right, so it approaches Sethreth. Going to try to do the pounce, the same thing. Pounce on your set threat. So I need you to do me a good old-fashioned... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, hold on a second. DC 14 strength saving throw. And of course, if anybody has inspiration left, they can give that to you or whatever. You can be used a lot. Don't matter. He made it. He's good to go. He... It's like it hits you. And like you just kind of like flex your pecs and it hits the pecs and, and bounces off to the ground, shakes its head for a second, and it uses its next attack. Uh, it's gonna try to bite you. No, well, this won't try to claw you. It tries to. Claw. Or, yeah, we'll try to claw. This one tries to claw you. Uh, and that does not, I don't think that's gonna make it. 15 is not oh. enough to hit you, is it? With my yeah, all right. So that is a miss as this the weird child you see the claws, the, you know, it's it's retractable claws come out and it comes forward with this huge swipe set threat. But luckily you def put your shoulder into it and it hits and rakes across your armor, not able to get you. All right. So next is where tiger two. Uh, uh it's gonna go after let's try to pounce Rin. All right, so Rin, um, DC 14 strength saving throw. Dodge, Rin, dodge. Sorry, everything is in the way. Hold on. <laughs> let me move boxes. Just let me click the thing. This thing All is right. this thing is running at you, drool pouring out of its mouth. 
you know, you can tell these things, it looks almost emaciated. You can tell that they haven't eaten. They're, that this, they're ready to, to munch. And Elf is looking good on the menu. Sorry, what am I rolling again? Uh, strength saving throw. All right. They've got rabies. <laughs> Something like that. Worse. But not hard to cure. All right, finally grabbed it. Oh, no, uh, uh, no well. unfortunately, you get this thing jumps on you, and for a bonus action, it doesn't even have to count as red attack. Uh, it's just going to bite. Yeah. That's a hit. I know that's a hit. Roll me a uh, constitution saving throw. You want to roll high? Yep. I don't know. It's not the, oh, you got it. So no problem yeah. for you. You are. You don't feel any, like, for a second, it feels like like a, a, something's entered you, like a wave of nausea comes over you, and you think it's going to be intense, but then passes. It's gone, and you feel nothing. All right. Uh, so we'll just try to claw you up. Do, do, do. I missed that. I know 12 does not hit you. There's no way it does. You aren't that low, are you? Yeah. Rin? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so there we go. It is now Diora's turn. Does she feel uh, any effects at all from the curse? What'd you say? Does she feel any effects from the curse? No, no, no. She's not going to feel it now. It's like kind of like full moon stuff um, and things like that. So we'll, we'll, it's it's a cool RP element that you know can that can be introduced. Through. It's kind of like her bloodlust or whatever. Oh so. shit! <laughs> <laughs> so now she might wake up one night and she's wear tigering and all over the place along with bloodlust. Who knows? Craziness will ensue. All right, um, fun stuff though, cool RP. All right, so now it is your, what do you want to do? Uh, the one that's right in front of me, um, I'm not, not prone, right? So I don't have to stand up? No, I don't believe it, it missed you on the prone, right? It didn't knock you Okay. Over. Yeah, so I'm gonna take my comma and I'm gonna slash it twice. All right, cause yeah, cause I didn't think it knocked you over. 22. That definitely hits. Okay. I'm gonna spend a key point and do a stunning strike. So, can you make me a DC 14 constitution save? Oh, oh just it. it. Yeah, and the, th the sad thing is these things look very weak. Like I said, they're, they're emaciated, shrunken in bones, or ribs are showing. They don't look all that healthy. Uh, so you did nine, and that's, that's a magical comma, right? No. Ooh, all this right. This is a regular comma. <laughs> well, you put the silver, you put the salve on your weapons. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> no, what's up? What? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what's up? Did we get given something like that? You got a salve that would turn your weapons, remember, uh, would make anything that you put, if you put it on your weapons, would make them just like silver weapons. Well, what Mika, Mika, Mika made, made it for you, and she gave each one of you like a little... Like a little pouch with a salve in it. <laughs> Is that something once it's been applied stays there forever? I'll leave that up to your next DM. I don't want to say yes or no. That is unknown. Unknown. I don't uh -huh. want to make it where if he has some cool thing he wants to do where that gets hurt because I gave you all silver weapons. So I don't want to do that to him. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, you got... Uh, we'll say for now though, Dewar, you didn't know it and you realize, wait a minute. You know, as you go to slash this thing, the slash, as you do it, it just instantly kind of heals up. Okay. Uh, well, I have two attacks, so I don't know what to do now. Uh, you have that solve you can apply. You can use your attack to put the silver on your weapon. I think that's a whole attack action, though, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a whole action. Use an object, yes. It's use an object. 
Well, you could you could consider it use a magical item in a way, but it's a, it's an object. So. And you'll still have a movement after that. So I'll let you apply that solve if you want. Yeah, can I do that instead? Yep, you can apply All right. it. All right. Do I get my key point back? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Right. Oh, kind. I'm just being nice, DM man. My this is this is nice, nice fun time. All right, so uh, you you can have that key point back, but yeah, your attacks do no damage though. That first uh, attack does no damage, so. That is that. And is there anything else you want to do, Diora? No. All right. So next is Rin. All right. I'm actually going to lead with Bert <laughs> to uh, respond with a claw attack to the uh, the wear tiger that's attacking me. Get him. And I guess. I, well, I don't know if we could consider Bert is magical in well, a way. He's, he's magically summoned. <laughs> yeah, so. He's magically summoned, so. Let's, let's have him as a magical weapon, though. That's good. Um, ignore the plus four. I don't know what's that. that oh, it still hits. It still hits. That's yeah. seven. <laughs> that seven hits. All right. So you take off, and that one is Wear Tiger 2. That's near you. So you take off seven. You want to describe uh, Bert's attack? He just comes in and raking him. Yeah, after Rin is pounced and uh, bitten at, uh, seemingly from nowhere, Bert flies around and and just claws at the back of the tiger, trying to get it off of me. All right. So you want to also attack? You got your bow. Um, would I be able to shoot from this close? Would you be able to run? I'm assuming you have to move back, but if it pounced on me, I don't know what the... So you, oh, yeah, you that's, can, yeah, that's right. You're you're on the ground. You're prone, so... You, so. Can, you can stand up. It's it's not, It hasn't grappled you, so you can stand up as half of your movement, yeah. and then you can move away as well. It would just get attack of opportunity if you move away. Would I be, would I be able to still shoot? Would it just take off some of it? No, if you, get up, if you get up, that's going to use... You're not going to be able to still attack if you move. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm you gonna... can get up. So to be clear, rules wise, um, standing up is half of your movement. It does not okay. affect your action. But but oh, the... well, Eric got me on that one. <laughs> I thought you couldn't attack after you got up. That's uh, that's old school. Ah. Uh, new school. Okay. We're in new school. <laughs> I'm old. Uh, I'm old. Do I, have, do I have to worry about the attack of opportunity first before I even think about trying to shoot? Yeah, if you're going to move back. Or you, or you can just take disadvantage. I'll take disadvantage then. There you go. All right. So I'm going to get my attack of opportunity here as you back up. Oh, um, Rin, Rin's not going to back up. I'm oh, just she's not. Oh, okay. Take disadvantage at shooting. Okay. <laughs> go get him, Rin. Kill the weird tiger. Kill this weird like, tiger. Hopefully I hit. Come on. Wait, advantage. Wow, some good Dang. rolls. Woo! So I ten. Think again, we need to ignore the plus two because I I thought I unclicked all the sharpshooter stuff, but still. Yeah. So yeah, it says plus yeah, you two, still would have hit. You get, You're fine. You got plus yeah. two because you have the archery um skill. Oh, That's okay. I'm just two. not sure which one is sharpshooter and which one isn't. And well, we, I yeah. guess the sharpshooter would be negative. I get it. I yeah. get it. At least a bless is gone. I don't know why that bless was up there. That was weird. I think it's because I had put it when, we, when I started the character sheets. I'm just blessed, you know. <laughs> oh, we got it. All right. Is there anything else you want to do, Rin, or is that it? That's everything. Text. Text. You have. You have oh two wait. Texts. Thank, Thank you. you I just need just as cute, Diora. You could shoot again. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Shoot, you got another. Rolling with this disadvantage once again. Yeah, these guys are. Yeah, you still got it. Phew. They don't have the highest AC in the world, that's for sure. All right. So, you got your arrows go flying through. You, the, 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 the rake, you know, uh, Bert rakes, you know, across with his claws. And then you're able to stand up in point blank range. Poof, poof, even at this man, pop right 
into this wear tiger taking off a staggering uh 21 28 total points of damage with you and bird darn once again rangers saving the day for anybody who ever doubted that rangers aren't awesome there you go now you're seeing it all right so next is seth red You muted, buddy? I think Sethreth might be muted. Sethreth was muted. Ah. Knucklehead. Um, the one that attacked me, I think he needs to have his claws clipped. So I'm going to turn around and smash the shit out of him. Two attacks. You should tell him you're going to neuter him in Spain. Yeah, I'm going to neut you in with two you. rocks. <laughs> All right, so I'm raging, of course, first. Oh, rage. And let's see what that does. We roll a D8. Something exciting, hopefully. Oh, eight. What's eight on that chart? Let's see them. My wild surge. An the, eight would be... The nuclear option. A bolt of light shoots from your chest. It's my superpower ray that you love. Another creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 of radiant damage and be blinded until the start of your next turn. Until your rage ends, you can use this effect again on each of your turns as a bonus action. So it attacks me, bounces off. Ah, here it comes, kitty. Ah, and a big bolt straight in its face. You have to do a you say con, right? a saving of 14 or higher. I'm what? pretty sure. Oh, bugger. Well, it shoots past you then. You don't oh. take any damage from it. All right. But still cool. You soldier boyed it. And I have my two attacks. So attack one. Would have been better if I hit it. Uh, that's what? what uh 11 is not gonna hit it uh 11 no 11 just misses second attack oh almost a crit 26 points and does 14 points of damage all right that is power My weapon is magical gotcha so you're good to go magical weapons are good all right anything else you want to do that's all yeah. i can do Two attacks. He already I had a second two. attack. Yeah, that was the oh, second one right there. Missed. Yep. Sorry. All right. Over. So next is the Were Tiger, the first one, and then a Yeze. So Were Tiger won, uh, I guess, would turn around to Volric uh, because Volric has him uh, grappled. So he's going to try to. Uh, uh, I bit, then clawed, then bit. So we'll claw. I don't want to bite everybody too much. Oh, critical oh, fail. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, I guess I bite my own hand. Uh, I, go, I go to bite Volric, you know, trying to snap at him rather than trying to get him. Because Volric's holding it, holding it down. Uh, so this thing tries to... Well, not bite, so he's trying to claw at Volric. Excuse me, claw. Tries to claw at Volric and get him. But you're able to take your arm, Volric, and pin his arm to the ground. Uh, as this thing's trying to claw you, and you see the claws going in and out of its fingers in a desperate, mad attempt to get at you. All right. Uh, that's its turn. Uh, trying to get at Volric in this, this epic struggle. And now it's a Yeezy's turn. I am not wasting good spell juice on these imbeciles. I whip out my wand. And, um, my check. You know, I do, and I use a fireball, and uh, I'll sit the one on Ren, because everyone picks on our elf. <laughs> what What are you doing? It sounded like you said fireball for a second. Fireball. Fire at. Oh, fire at. About to say, I know you say fireball, and you're firing the magic missiles. Okay, you're the one near Ren. All right. About to say, I was oh, like, it's fire bolt. Fire no. bolt. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ten. Wow, you scored a one. Uh, unfortunately, no, that misses. 
A plus nine to hit, and I rolled a one. Great. I know, that's crazy, right? I just noticed you have plus nine. Like, how the hell do you crit with plus nine? Or, or fail plus nine? But I guess it happens sometime. All right, so are you using is there anything? Yep. Do you want to move or anything? Um, honestly, I can't tell where I am, so no, I don't want to move. I can tell where, here you go. <laughs> if you want to see where you're at, you're right here, EJ. You, you can see that in the camera. Let me see if I need to change the camera, if I can make it better for you. Okay, if you I see. can see it. So there's a tiger next to me. Uh, yeah, it was attacking, and it was that was the one that was attacking Diora. Oh, oh, geez, all right. I would have shot the one. No, that was far then. It was not close. Yeah, but Chris said he was attacking right. the one that was that was on top of um, Rin. Then here's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to move behind the one that is attacking Diora. Okay. And that way, if she wants to flank, she'll have someone to flank with. Okay. So you move around to the behind it. Navigating your way over there. Ready to help and, you. And that's my action. Oh, boy. Right, that's your, your, your move and your, your action. Okay. All right. So next top of the round, then. It goes back to do, 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 where Tiger 4. That was the one on Diora. Uh, it's going to try to... Uh, it's gonna try to the claw. It take actually it takes out. Oh, I see it. It goes to it. Has its weapon ready now. It takes out scimitar, ready to go because it's hybrid form. All right. So I, I assume that hits. Yeah, that hits. Don't worry. Not a lot. One d six plus three. Uh, we'll just do the the average here. Uh, here you go. Eight. So eight points of damage. All right. So it does. The first slash is, is eight. Let me make sure. Uh, all right, and then next attack, because it's a multi-attack, the scimitar comes along again. Is the 18. That, that does not hit. All right, so the first scimitar strike, you know, this half tiger, you know, with holding it, whew, tries, it gets you right across the stomach, slashing you. But the next strike, when it tries to come back and do the same thing, getting you across it, you're prepared and you're able to kind of bend back and it misses, but it is staying on you and you've taken a total of eight points of damage. So next it is Volric's turn. Hey, you guys, I don't think these are dogs. <laughs> and then I'm gonna uh, attack it with my right. sword, since I noticed we can't hurt it otherwise. Hey, dink. <laughs> <laughs> how you're able to attack with the sword while you're grappled is beyond me but so let's roll <laughs> as for rolls i know i know with, i'm using one hand basically i have it like around the neck and i'm stabbing it with my other hand it would just be hard to hold a sword and be like <laughs> just, right. this is a true story this is based on real combat <laughs> yeah yeah, th yeah it's true you know because Fighting were tigers, you have to. It's one of those things you have to be aware of your, your were tiger fight experience. All right, All right. that'll hit. That oh, definitely. Right. 20, that, woo, so eleven points of damage. And then, and then my sword, again, which is already glowing red, bursts into flames, and a fiery set of chains wraps around it. So it has to make a saving throw, DC thirteen. Uh, versus uh, strength. You're violent. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh. He made a saving throw. But he Unfortunately, still take the, yeah. Still take the fire damage. Extra two d six. So let me back it out of the way. Takes an additional seven points. All right. Total so. of, uh, eighteen points. I uh, seven. All right. So you, your your chains and everything. You know, you your, the fire's on. You hit it with your sword, and this thing is burning. And as my as my bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, healing word on Diora. So that's going to be uh, D four plus. Let me just click the let me just click the button. I think that does it right. Um, Uh, 
Was that a real dog barking in the background earlier on? That was my dog, yeah. Wow, Bella. Yeah. Maybe they are uh, dogs. Only only three <laughs> points. But it's, but it's still three points. That's Thank right. You. Something. Better than nothing. That's right. All right. So next it's Where Tiger 3's turn. And that one was on uh, Seth Rath. Yep, so it, it's. Uh, and you were raged, but you didn't do reckless attack or anything last round, so we're good. Nope. All right, so we're, all right, so we're good. Probably should have been hindsight. Uh, this one's going to try to bite Seth Rath for the first attack. A little bit of a bite. Ooh, oh, oh, roll the thing. I'm sure you'll pass it. Oh, DC, DC 13 con save. Or you and Dior are going to be running around uh, the, uh, the right. wherever the forest uh, looking for deer. Like an American werewolf in London. Here we go. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where tigers? Well, you, oh, hey, shit. you said you wanted to be closer to Dior. Does age still matter? <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some great cosplay for season two. Yes, exactly. And, and, and you like know, the cast of cats. Yeah, you'd be, you could be wear tiger. Plus, it's not something that you have to have all the time. It's when he can put it in whatever it, for RP fun for y'all um, and easily cure it if he wants to. All right, so um, Constitution, you you don't know it, but you've got wear tiger. But you don't know that as a character. Uh, you know, you don't know that. Yeah, you just feel a wave of nausea and heat, and you feel hot all of a sudden. All right, so now it's gonna claw you. Uh, you obviously. Oh, I forgot to do the damage uh, on that. Uh, so let me do your damage. That was. Uh, we'll just do the average damage. Bite. One uh, d ten plus three. We'll just say eight. It says eight. So just take eight points of damage off you. Yeah. And then the claw. Let's see if it hits you with the claw as he tries to claw you. That I don't even need to check. That's a miss. Ten. There's no way ten hits you. All right. So it gets that first bite. You know. You you know you you thought you were badass telling how you're gonna declaw and neuter it. <laughs> I'll rip your throat out and drink your blood. And it begins to, to, to grab your throat at the jug. You're ah, grabbing on. You're able to pull it off. But you, like I said, you know that it's broken the skin and you feel the heat. And now it's Wear Tiger 2 on Rin. Uh, Rin, uh, this will scimitar attack Rin. That's a miss. Crit miss. A shame we're not doing old school. I had a critical fumble and lost my turn next round. Up oh, 12. That's a miss as well. Am I right? No way, 12. It's yep. you, Rin. All right, so, Rin, you are du um, ducking in a, a, a dodge in here. Uh, you know, luckily you weren't still on the ground. You had stood up. So you're ducking in a dodging, and luckily the scimitar, the first attack, goes high arc over your head. The second one tries to get your legs, but you're able to jump above that. And next is Diora. Uh, okay, so now I have the silver on my weapons. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to try to attack it again. 13? I don't think that hits. 13, no, that... Oh, yes, that does hit. That hit? Okay. Um, and I'll get an extra uh, D6 from my bracers. Only don't one. Forget. Don't forget, you got the silver now on your weapons. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, it does. Um, she, and she knows it's not immune. She's no longer... As long as magical weapons are silver. Okay, no so that... Immune. That's five damage, and then I'm going to attack again. That doesn't hit. No, um, that does not. And it's, yeah, I think this time I'm going to use my key point to patient defense then. So you have disadvantage on me um, until my next uh, turn. Smart. Don't you get advantage on your attacks because the easy is behind? Are we? I oh, that that's right. She, uh, well, the way we do um, those flanking attacks is people say they're attacking at the same time. But I'll let yeah. it go because uh -huh. if you want, you know, uh, I could still give you a little bit of something because technically Lise could be distracting. Uh, so okay. we, uh, I'll let you, uh, we'll give you like a plus, uh, plus two. So roll again. And we'll give you a plus two. <laughs> You, you did not need that plus two. 
Um, and then I get another D6 from my bracers. Another one. Great. All right. So, um, 11, so altogether, 12. that's uh, 12. 17. Plus, yeah, plus the five up top. Whoa, all right. So you are, these things are, like I said, you guys, uh, you took a, a nasty blow and they're starting to look weakened. Like I said, they were all emaciated. And, and, you know, and, and their, their ribs are showing. Now you've taken some damage, but they are still up fighting. Uh, Dior, is there anything else you want to do? I think that's about all you can do. Right? That's all I can do. Um, yeah, just patient defense and then that's it. All right. So next is Rin's turn. Right. Same. same. Uh, yeah, so I called. I called, uh, declared that tiger my favorite foe. So assuming I hit, I'll get extra damage. Gonna just do normal shooting without sharpshooter at disadvantage. Wow. Even with disadvantage, your disadvantage <laughs> wow. is 21. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shoot now while I still have that good, good karma. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. No, but hey, man, uh, you got the first oh, wait, one. Wait, wait, no, that, that I'm sorry, that, that is hit? a hit. That is a hit. It's 11 plus two, which is a 13, which uh, according to uh, Tony is uh, their armor class. Oh, I thought the plus They're two. Well, oh, that's your archery style. I just hovered yep. above it. Oh, yep. Then that yep. does hit. That's your archery style bonus. Then yes, that does hit. All right. I thought um, it was like that, and, that bonus, like you said, messed up before to ignore. It's like that Legolas thing, like just poking the arrow in the eye. Um, so I know for favorite foe, I could add a damage with D4. Is yeah, that for every hit D4. or is that for a D1? D, D, one D4 for each of those hits. Okay, exactly what I want to ask. So you got two to go. Come on, man, you got 18 damage, damage so far. You're, you're saving the party here. One more. Again. Two. Woo! Come on, do another four. Make it twenty-six. That, that, that was a total. That was it. Oh, it. No, I total thought she. Oh, oh, okay. Well, twenty-two. Did Bert, did Bert attack yet? Nope. No? Bert, did, Bert did not attack yet. Uh oh, good karma, it's over. Good karma. Garbage Finish time. Finish him. <laughs> the Bert show. Uh, that's. I don't know what that one would be. I'm looking at it right now. Hold so on. I, I'm gonna. That's the I'm bless. Be, but twelve. I'm gonna be polite, but, so but, no. But, that's but it's it's okay. Twelve still hits. Oh, so wow. even without oh, really? the bless. Yeah, twelve is their AC. Okay, so, then nine. Uh, so that's let's see. Eight, nine eight, more points, and it's <laughs> you can actually tell me how you do it because it goes down this emaciated, <laughs> weakened <laughs> creature. For the win. So after she shoots two more arrows it's like start it's kind of falling especially because it's a bit on the skinnier side but tries to bare its teeth once again and Brick just comes in and claws it until it falls over you see, <laughs> you, the other weird tigers go no no kill that that damn bird that devil creature they say it in a more feline way though like morale kill the devil bird Oh, meow, meow, snarf, snarf, see? <laughs> oh, right. Great shit. Gangster snarf? Gangster snarf. Meow, meow, see? Snarf, snarf. <laughs> meow, meow. All right. So now, uh, Rin is out. I think that's all you could do. You've gotten one yeah. gone, so. I mean, that's... I, I would move her, but I'm not sure if I could still do that after all that. Uh, you still got your movement. You haven't moved I, anywhere. I, she's going to take up several steps back. <laughs> I think you still got you didn't move anywhere you just attack mm -hmm. you're gonna move back back here good can you still see yourself in the camera if not I can turn the other camera on let me know well not on but I could switch over to it uh oh hold on just drop the mouse technical difficulty I get the mouse and I have a trackball so the trackball falls and rolls across the floor all oh, right, there we go. Okay, so you have bought that first one down. Where Tiger 2 that was is gone. And now it is doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, Sethreth's turn. 
Still, yeah, buddy. Still okay. raging. Still raging, of course. Oh, hell yeah. So first thing, of course, I stare at it and go, it's coming again. Ah, let the chest raise, shoot it in the face. This time, hopefully, it hits DC 14, please, Con. It tries to cover its eyes. Pretty sure it was a con save. They have high con. Oh, I yep. failed anyway, though. Yes. All right. Take this to the face, you To the dirty face. Cat. In the face. Five points of dog. Uh, what type of damage was it? Radiant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's radiant. Yep. Uh, radiant damage and be blinded until the start of your next turn. <clears throat> You can't see, pussycat. Oh, I disadvantage on all my attack rolls. Yeah, blinded. A blinded creature can't see and automatically fails. Any ability checks, and then I have a, a disadvantage. Uh, and you have advantage uh, on me. So, so I don't any... need to, If I have advantage, then there's no point in me going reckless. So I'll just attack normally with that advantage. Thank you. There you go. That's handy. 26, 26 that definitely that hits then, would you like that then laddie <laughs> <laughs> that definitely hits uh only, only 10 points of damage second attack man y'all beat oh two. another 10 same, same damage so 20 points of damage all up oh, how is plus how, five 25 points of damage all up how is it though that the ranger seems to be doing more damage than the barbarian Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, little elf. We're just lucky I didn't get hit. That's a... Just saying. I know where you live, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's no way you're paying for a plane ticket all the way to the United States. <laughs> that's pretty crazy, bro. I'm pretty crazy. That's, that's, that's true. This is true. I this have to be true. careful. All right, so Seth, is there anything else you want to do, bud? I think that's about all you can do. No bonus actions or anything like that. So you're good to go. Yeah, All right, so it is hurting. That one's now hurting, kind of. You've taken some chunks off it. It is where Tiger One's turn. It's going to go, and uh, uh, this time it's going to try to uh, claw Eric or uh, Volric for its first attack. Uh, that Ooh. is, that's a hit. Uh, and we'll just do average damage. Seven points of damage. Okay, so... Um... It claws me, and then my cloud rune necklace glows, Ooh. and a little portal appears in my chest, ah. claws, and it hits one of its buddies, which I guess doesn't do any damage, right? Uh, well, their claws aren't magical, so no, it yep. doesn't say they're yeah. magical okay. attacks, so no. But the good thing is, I don't it think scratches so. its back. You see, it go. Yeah. Oh. So they can't hurt each other. No, because magic. Yes, yeah, magic. magic or silver. Um, all right, so put that work on. Uh, we has two attacks. So this next one is a bite. That's a miss. I already know there's no way your AC is 15. Um, so hey, both. Cool. He's, so, fight mail, baby. He's, he's trying to bite that, just dinking off the one of the tip. It looks like it actually chips one of his tooth. <gasps> I haven't gotten my crown yet. I know how that feels. That's how the position I'm in right now, waiting to get that crown. All right, so next is, uh, that was where Tiger won and it missed it. Next is a Yeezy's turn. Uh, once again, I'll try to firebolt. Okay, there's, my stealth on Jiro is still on a War Tiger, right? Uh, you backed up, yeah, and you're behind the uh, the the wear tiger now. Yes, sir. So if I firebolt him from behind, do I get advantage on my attack roll? Uh, yeah. I don't see why not, man. They're flanking. I let DR have it. I'll let you have it, man. Can I have it too? <laughs> no, you don't get it because you're not flanking anymore. <laughs> There's nobody helping you. <laughs> I'm being nice, but don't push it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, firebolt through. Pull out my wand and try to firebolt him. Firebolt. Well, the first hit is 26. Oh, yeah, definitely got it. And that's for... Uh, Ooh, 16 point. points of damage. Good God almighty. Let me make sure there's no immunities. Nope, nothing to fire. You're good to go. All right, and that is where Tiger... That is four. 
Yep. Woo, 16. That's, damn, that's more damage than the Barbarian, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's cold. <laughs> the magic 20. users outdo the Barbarian? I did, I did 25, thank you. <laughs> well, it's it's about time. I mean, like, uh, I'm at level now where my cantrip actually does decent damage, so... Yeah, you're doing that was serious. So you your firebolt goes screaming towards him and burns up the fur. It smells. I mean, you could smell this dank. Like I said, these things are things are emaciated and dirty. They got caked on mud on their fur. It is stinky, man. Uh, as you smell that burnt fur. Anything else you want to do, Ize? Uh No, nope. I'll maintain position. Um, keeping an eye on it and making sure it's between myself and Yura. Right, top of the round. Where Tiger four. It turns around to a Yize now. Since you just burnt it up. You bastard. You bastard. Yeah, we can say that. You bastard. Uh, I'm going to make you pay for that. That's going to leave a scar when I turn back. And so now. I say, no, it won't. Um, we're going to peel off that section when we turn you into a coat. Its eyes widen. How dare you? And it swings its scimitar wildly. And that's probably why it misses. Scimitar miss. Ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and then the next. Darn. Oof. I'm that terrible rules. Seven. Don't have to check there. Might as well just gone. So it's in its frustration and its anger of being burnt, clawed at the burnt fur. It's waving its scimitar and it's off balance. And it goes to hit you and misses twice. Uh, and now it's... Volric the Grey's turn. Oh, I was going to trust talk it, but okay. Oh, what did you say? You're going to what? Uh, see, your heart's not into it. You should have uh, run away when you had the chance. You can still run, though. Go, run, run, run. Yeah, I'm too hungry to run. I can smell your salt and your sweat. All right. So, Volric's turn. Has as Seth Breath taken out his, uh, his war tiger yet? Uh, no, his war tiger's still up. Vryn, Vryn got the first kill. How t- how far away is he from me? From, uh, who, uh, Sethra? Yep. Um, uh, close. Yeah, you're not very far. I mean, where's the pack? What? 15 feet or 20 feet tops, wouldn't it be? Well, then, or maybe more, it's hard to tell. Yeah, he has to go around, so 5, 10, 15. He can make it to Sethra. That's the bottom line. It's about 30. You'd make it. Oh, it's, it's thirty. It's thirty feet. Yeah, you, you're gonna make because okay. because you have to no. go around the bush. So five, ten. No, no, no. I, I still have to kill mine. I, I still have mine to fight. Um, I was gonna try and drag it with me, but that's I can't move that far with a uh, dragon. Yeah, it'd be difficult terrain or whatever. Okay, so right. um, I, I'll go ahead and just uh, haul back and uh, smack him with my sword. Smack him with the sword. Smack him. Smack him. Yak him. Smack, smack it him up. <laughs> Throwing down some smack. Oh, all the windows, so many windows. Yeah. Is there anybody else's roll twenty going slow tonight? I guess. It is. Uh, just uh, just seven points. Roll pretty mm-hmm. low, but I hit. All right, so woo, that's a nice big chunk. Seven points. Uh, plus you get your other attack, don't you? Get that? I get two attacks for that. No, because I'm part bard, so I don't. Ah, uh, okay. So minus seven. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, give my inspiration to Rin. All right. Arctic inspiration, which, by the way, is a D6, not a D4. All right. <clears throat> Very nice. All right. Oh, darn, man. Come on. Jeez. All right. There we go. Finally. It was frozen. I don't know what's going on. All right. So, uh, next, uh, uh, is where Tiger 3, unless there's something else you want to do, Borg. Yep, that's my turn. Okay. All right, so this one is still on Sethrith. Uh, Sethrith, it's going to try to to bite again. Rah! You'll pay your let me at your your flesh smells good. I've never had half oak before, half ogre before. Tell me, do you taste like chicken? You're gonna eat a knuckle sandwich if you don't shut up. Well Don, I think he misses you both times. 
Ah, uh, no, the 17 hits me. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he's still blinded though, isn't he? Or not? Ah, yes, that's right. So disadvantage. Uh, so, so hold on. Uh, the first one, we'll just say first attack was a miss, obviously. Uh, so here's this. And the second one's a miss too. So that's a hit. Yeah, well, either which way, because 17, 17. Um, so do, 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 do. Uh, Two se- misses, one hit. The last one one's hit. a hit. Yeah, so just uh, you only take... Uh, ooh, I hit the wrong thing. I hit Scimitar, but it's the same amount of damage, so it doesn't matter. Um, so you'll be taking seven hit points of damage. Not a lot. Not very much. Seven? Seven. I'm sure you got like 60-some hit points. Nope. Really? How many you got? You should have a butt. 55 in total, but I'm at 48 now. Oh, yeah. You got buttload hit points. All right. So next, do, 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 do. he goes biting in you and gets one claw. If you, once again, the bite doesn't go through. You're able to push its hold its mouth closed as it's trying to snap at you. You got to grab it. You do the whole thing where it can't open up, but the claw is able to rake across your back. Ah, and you can feel the stinging as the claws dig into your skin. And next, it is Diora's turn. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to go back in on this, the one that's in front of, uh, that's trying to attack Ayuse now. Yep. 20. Ooh. Well, that definitely it, hits. Okay. Uh, that's so I, 11 points. So are you, so what you're doing is you're doing your, you want to do a flank attack with the Yize? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Usually, usually we wait. So, but because a Yize is a caster, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just, just roll with it now. And on his turn, it still counts as like a distraction. Because usually it's like y'all attack at the same time. That was the rules we had set down, but go ahead and just roll with it. Um, so 20, uh, you get 11 points of damage. Whew. I thought, uh, what about your bracers? My, uh, I did. I counted that already. I used oh, okay. my last one. And I got another crit. Damn. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Have some damage. Oh, oh my God. Um, this this thing is hurting bad. I mean, it is, is hanging on after this comma, these attacks. It's bleeding. It looks like. You know, the, the fur has got blood pouring out of it. It's matted down. The face is cut up from your attack. Okay. I can do this as a bump. Uh... Looking like it got the mange now. You've cut so much fur off. It's a man- okay, so mangy cat. I can cat. do this. I can attack it again. I have to spend a key point to do a key fueled attack. And it allows me to... Make one attack with an unarmed strike or my monk weapon, which I will be using my monk weapon. So I'm gonna spend a key point for that. And I'm gonna attack it again. 17. Oh, it's down. Nice. Gosh. Describe uh, your describe your attack as a Yeze was dancing to distract it. <laughs> He was there. He was dancing. He was dancing over there. Hey, look over here! Look over here! Look over here! Hey! Yeah. So as as I usually is dancing, I just come through with the comma. I strike like I spin it around because it has like a chain. So I grab the chain and I spin it and I let it sink into his his stomach and then I yank it out and then I just like do it again. But this time I'm going up higher until I lodge it in his throat. And these things, like I said, they're so emaciated and skinny. That is, you, you know, you, you cut it, you don't even see, like, any fascist, almost pure bone and skin and bone at this point. And this thing is, bleak, the neck it spits blood out, and it just goes into the grass. And the blood actually splatters on you, Dior, and some goes into your mouth. That's fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> no blood so lust, no blood my... lust. <laughs> free, just just free use... meal. <laughs> free meal. I'm going to use the, uh, my movement to... Um, Go over to Sephiroth, so I'm behind the one Sephiroth is facing. All right. Are uh, you coming to steal my kill? I think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is Rin's turn. You've got two of them down now. And you have inspiration. Uh, Wait, you're in about me, and Rin is out here killing things. <laughs> well, wow, that's true. Rin and the monk. Uh, Eric, remember um, you have an extra D6. 
Yeah, um, look, sorry, with this camera angle, is there, is there one Hold or on. two left standing? I can switch the camera angle for you, my bad. Hold on a second. That should help you out now. There you go. It's thematic, but... Just yeah, to yeah, I, I just, yeah, I try to change it around just to make it interesting a little bit. Um, so it's not static the whole time. Uh, you got one here by Volric, which is right there near you. And then you got one Diora and Sethrith are fighting right here. And you're right here. Can you see yourself? Yes. Perfect. Um, so Rin is, is holding her bow and she kind of looks over to her right shoulder. But then she kind of remembers the last time she stole a kill and she's like, eh. And then, <laughs> and then, and then faces towards Volric. <laughs> And she's gonna do sharpshooter, so more damage, but taking that negatives. Come on. Yep. She wants. Oh wait, there you go. No. No. Right, yeah, we'll, six. Roll it. well, hold on. Oh. Yep. Is Eight. that for hit? It does it add to the hit or the damage? It was well, your archery style. Uh, says you hit. So, no. but but then your uh, sharpshooter. Wait a minute. Um, this is because, yeah, because sharpshooter gives me the negative. So oh, minus three. Math, okay, I see. It's, like it's a minus, minus three. Five so no, two, that so does not hit. Three, that one does still, not hit. You can still go for it. I mean, roll d6. If you roll five or six, you'll still hit. Yep. yep. Or even better, actually. I'll, I'll use roll that d6 eight. now, then. There you go. You hit. Four. That's a 12. All right. So 12 right. hits. Stealing somebody's kill. All right. And since this I could hit it twice, declaring that as a, that tiger, <laughs> that tiger, that wear tiger as my favored, uh, favored foe. So I, if I hit again, I could do extra damage. Exactly. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. All right. And <laughs> additional damage with a D4. Woo. Oh my God. Oh What's the what, and you were attacking which one? I'm sorry, Volrix um, one um, or uh, Volrix tiger. Okay, so that's tiger. number one. Number one. It feels like sorry. I know you prefer the term weird tiger. <laughs> it's weird okay. Tiger. It's okay. That weird tiger is cat. It's hurting, but it's still. Uh, it's not. It's, it's still, still up. Wow. Yeah, it's still if only, up. If Impressive. only I had a little flying friend. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. Come on, Bert. Come oh, on, crit. Oh, Bert, Bert needs to Bert needs to crit. Bert, Bert, Bert. Bert. Oh, so oh my oh, god. <laughs> it's 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 hurting bad now. No, like, Bert's hit is Bert. Dude, man, I'm telling you, everybody who's watching this show is gonna start making Rangers. You know, what in fact, if anybody should pass away or something, there should be a whole party of just Rangers. It's <laughs> just, just or, everybody yeah, just or, a Ranger. Or Falcons. Or Falcons. Everybody's just Falcons. Like you're, you call it the yeah. Animal Party, you know. Uh, for season two, season two, season awesome. two, everybody's just an animal. Yeah. It's, it's the it's the furry party. Um, <laughs> all right. So this thing is hurting bad, man. It's 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 ah uh, uh, it's almost uh, 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 it's hurt. I'm about to say it asked for mercy, but nah. <laughs> All right, so it is Seth Rest's turn. Yay. Right. Come on, Seth I Rest. Will, you may as well do your con save because my chest lights up again. Your you're BC, you're, you're, you're BCL. The of my breastplate turns red before it shoots through. 21. Ah, you make that one. So I will go reckless, so I have advantage on my attack then. Come on. I'm not blind anymore. Do it. Do it now. Uh, do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm here. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. You gotta put heart into it. Alright, uh Jack Hack. Uh woo! And I still 12 hits, doesn't it? 12 again? hits. So nine. 19. 19. Not that great. Hold on, but okay. it might be enough. Let me put the subtraction in there. Guess what? It's enough. Yeah. By one, what by one hit point you just got? All right, describe your how you bring this thing down. Well, my chest lights up, and it, even my breastplate starts to glow red. The ray shoots; it ducks down, and as it ducks down, I do a big sweeping uppercut under its chin, send it up in the air, and as it's coming down, I go over the top and smash it into the ground. Stay I down, cat. That move was great. <laughs> yes. 
That was much more fun than feeding them. Wait, you gotta do it right. They're <laughs> Yeah, he has that long drawl, Tony the Tiger. All right, so that is it. There's only one left, the one that Vork is holding down. All these other ones are, are have been beat down. But remember, two of you, or is it three? I know at least two of you have the disease. I have to look back in the thing that you, you feel this hot sweats, you know, and everything. Not sick, just, just hot, just very hot. Uh, all right, so next is Where Tiger One. And it is going to attack once again, uh, Vorik. Uh, this time, uh, uh, let's just do a, a scimitar attack. It's a miss. Another scimitar. Ooh, double miss. Whiffs both trying to, trying to hit Vorik in the back with its sword, trying to get up. And it says, uh, wait, we can, I, we can talk about this. I, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to negotiate. Because it sees its other friends dead. You see the fear in its feline eyes. You know, it's kind of like, you know, kind of a man eyes. And they kind of, they kind of got that little arch that goes in the center showing like, oh God, like fear. That little eyebrows come together. Please, I, I mercy. Hmm. You know, all you creatures from the Aladred crack me up. You want to eat us. You talk all kinds of trash to us then you start to whine and at the end you're begging for your life i would allow you to live if only you had just enough of a dog-like appearance roof. but you don't roof. you're not a dog at all it starts bark. it starts trying to bark roof, 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 roof. and you kill it though all right no mercy it's a easy's turn Oh, that was the last one, though, right? They're all dead. No, no I didn't kill it. No, I'm it's just not. Talking. <laughs> yeah, we're just, just talking, a little RP. And not yet. Oh, does Lurik look like he's gonna spare it, or did he just miss? No. Uh, I I'm don't think he's it. going to spare it. Oh, all right. Um, I will um give him the honor of his spec, then. I will not kill it ahead of him. All right. Or so, wait a minute. Did Lurik take his turn yet? No, I'm last. Oh, yeah, you're right. last. So, all right, uh, tough luck. So. And it's it's uh, look it's pretty hurt already. So I'm, not, I'm I'm confused. Didn't we just have to start a new turn? No, this was just where Tiger One talking after it tried to attack you. Okay, cool. Oh, all right, we're Tiger One. Goodbye. Yeah, that there's only one left, and that's the one that just tried to attack you, uh, Volric. Uh, and then oh, after he, that one is a Yize. Yize is, is last because he has initiative of four. Like does he look like he's on his last legs? Yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting. Yeah. Rok has put I, the pain I, to I, him. I hold him up by the scruff of his neck like a cat. And hold him up for... Ooh. Right, I'll magic missile him. I'm not going to miss. Oh, that will... You don't even Three, almost need to roll. That's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, 10 points of damage. You're just going to roll. All right. Kill it. Extra kill it. Make sure it's really dead. Yeah. All right. So your magic missile says... He goes holding it at Vorik, holds it up by the scruff of the Here I is, eh? And he holds it up, you know, almost like Bennett from Commando let off some steam. And you throw your, the, the magic missiles hurled towards it, hitting it. It begs, no! Yes! I didn't even have a last meal! No, and, it, and it is down. And all the were tigers are down. What do you <laughs> That was a lot more fun than letting them walk away, wasn't it? And we got Besides, to keep our food. They but, uh, deserved it. And just remember that people, though, who I said, you've got, you feel, have a feeling of heat right now. It's, it's, feel like, man, it's like hotter than ever in this jungle. Bloody hot, E. And uh, some of us make nature, well, actually, I can't because I rolled a one. But uh, nature checks to know that these suckers are contagious. Uh, Yeah, let's do that. I think me, I already know everything. I rolled like a 22. Yeah, Ayize yeah. already would know that. So he would be able, if someone were to like art be the symptoms or, or speak to him, then yeah, he'd be able to pick up like, yeah, yeah oh man, you feel hot? Dan, with, Dan, hot, Dan, hot. Dan. You're hot without a fever. That's the thing. Dan, cat, beat me. I think, I think for me, I'm hot, period, because 
I mean, I don't do well in the sun to begin with. So I'm just like, what? I just go over to uh, South Rep and I'm like, hmm, I'm burning up. Something. Uh, hey, pick me right here. Yeah, yeah okay. pick me in my arm. Do I uh, notice this? If, if you hear, over, I would say that you overhear them talking. So yeah, you overhear it. Oh, one moment, please. May I see the point where the creature bit you? Yeah, go right there. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's a bite, all right. And yeah. you're feeling feverish? Yeah. Huh. Why? You're, you're feeling feverish? I mean, more so than usual, usual yeah. Wow, I didn't even think that that sort of thing would affect you. Oh well. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> I'm well. getting infected with lycanthropy. Is this uh, like a disease? Uh, yes, it's a magical disease, and when the full moon rises next, then um, probably, I think it's in the, uh, within three days or the full moon. You know, it's crazy, guys. Past, I'm you're, sorry. Gonna me, you're not going to let me finish. I'm not going to explain what it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, it's triggered by the full moon, but it usually takes time to settle in, at which point you'll turn into a war tiger. Um, not as cool as it sounds. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> not as cool as it sounds. <laughs> so you might feel like, oh, look, I'll turn into a big sleek tiger person. Um, I'm not sure of what effect it would have on you physiologically, considering that that is the result of when a human gets lycanthropy, but your particular species may respond differently. And um, I'm not sure how it would work with yours, in particular, Diora. But um, anyhow, there's a uh, rampaging bloodlust, need to, um, what's the term? Uh, need for food, flesh, and such like, and animalistic tendencies. Do we still keep able to control our mind, or is this Gonna take this audio. In my experience, control of your mind while in a lycanthropic state usually takes time. The tribes of the moon train their young in this kind of thing when they have inheritable lycanthropy. However, those who have been cursed, it may take some time or act of willpower in order to maintain control while you're in where tiger form. It's not a good thing. And I might add, just in terms of social responsibility, while you're a war tiger, you are also a vector for disease. Anyone you bite or slash who survives will also has a chance of uh, contracting it. Well, is However, it is curable. Ah. And you can do it right now, correct? Um, you need a priest. Can't you do it? I'm not a priest. <laughs> uh, hey, what about at the village? That uh, witch doctor guy that helped us? I'm not sure if he's a priest, but it requires, it is a curse, all right? You need someone who can cast remove curse. Cool thing for season two. <coughs> where, where, uh, when's the next oh, is that? moon? Are you there? Ah, that I can tell you. When is the next moon? Uh, Tony, when's the next full moon? Uh, probably, I'd say you just had one, so it's a while away. At least about a month away. It's about a month away. Uh, about three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Uh, I'll worry about it later then. Uh. That's all I can recall, though, but uh, I will certainly see if I can recollect anything else about it. But again, I warn you, it's not as cool as it sounds. <laughs> All right. Sounds pretty cool. It does sound yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> being being a tiger, I mean, come on now. <laughs> You're a walking STD. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> what What's an STD? Uh, uh, savagely transmitted disease. <laughs> ah. <laughs> special yeah, spe special tiger disease. You know, there's a there's a price to pay. There's a price to pay when you get bitten by lycanthropy. It's a you have to pay a fee line. Oh, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> Good one, Dad. I'll leave. Now. <laughs> I'll just I'll just uh, I'll just leave Zoom now. Bye. One day, <laughs> one day everybody just got silent too, which made it worse. <laughs>
If we only one have one viewer Ulrich, now. One guy of Ulrich is going to be murdered in his sleep. I'm not sure whether <laughs> that sad or happy. Yeah. Not <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> audience. <laughs> All right. Well, that is actually about where uh, we're going to leave off. If you want to check the Were Tiger real people to see what you, if they have anything on them. Obviously, you see they have all have scimitars. You can see that plainly. Uh, that's what they were fighting with. They also have long bows on their uh, backs. You can see that plainly as well. Uh, do you want to check anything before we, we get out of here? Well, I always right. wondered, do they revert to human form when they die? Yes, they do. Damn it! No fur! <laughs> oh, well, they're... Oh, that's... Yeah, darn, I wish I could have got you some fur. But they reverted to human form uh, as you killed them, just like in the movie Silver Bullet. Well, I'll, I'll search through their belongings and see if there's anything of interest. All right. Uh, you actually... Go ahead, we'll do the old roll... Roll me a D12. D12? Yeah, let's okay. see, see if they have any cool stuff on them. Nine? Nine. Collection? You find on two of them a collection of shells uh, on a thin gold chain. They were each wearing that. Both of them had that. Ah, here's oh, a treasure that I promised all of you. <laughs> it's not so bad being on this island be, now. Be, uh, uh, be patient. The last episode is next week. Be patient. I uh, be take patient. One. I take one and take the, the Diora, and I give the other one to Rin. I don't have much use of these. You pretty ladies can have them. Thank Go, you. Roll me and uh, roll me another D12 because this is for the tribal stuff. So roll me another one. One. Two hollow, uh, you find two hollow coconut halves. Guess they were drinking <laughs> coconut milk. Wow. And now we can we can simulate horses now. <laughs> oh, dude, that that's out of uh, freaking Monty Python. Sure is. Couldn't afford the horse. All right. So you got that for now. There will be, don't worry, the, 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 the next week, there might be bigger treasure on the way. Who's to say? Who's to say? No, no, I think the, the thing we're lamenting is um, there might be treasure, period. I don't think, I think I'm pretty sure I don't, I haven't, we haven't found a gold piece since we came to this island. It's all shells and freaking. Well, who knows? Who, um, know, who we knows? Did, Never, rocks? We did find, I don't, it wasn't gold, but we did find a vein in that uh, cave of silver, I think. Yes, oh, yeah. never went back to. And you That's also nothing, we could nothing mind that. that. Nothing that fits in a pouch. Well, you have found some magic items, though. You found some nice stuff. That's for sure. Kill yeah, magic found, items. yeah, you found some yeah, good stuff. And not, you know, some stuff that really seems to this. be good in certain situations. But that's it's on a, this thing. The sword. All right, so it's about. Um, I think we're about done right here. It's nine fifty-eight. If anybody wants to say anything, uh, again, uh, Jack with Project H two, or anybody has anything else they'd like to uh, promote, now would be the time. Uh, feel free to Thank follow me you. on uh, on social media. I'm mostly on Facebook, Eric Wahlberg, spelled like uh, Marky Mark Wahlberg. I post lots of memes and D and D related stuff. All right. So yeah. Also, stay tuned for next week. It's the last episode of the season. Be here at B Square. See what happens for the the epic conclusion of uh, season one, and you know the cool uh, how it'll be riding into season two, and that will be starting on uh, the eighteenth. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, and again, follow Eric uh, if you want to follow Nabachi on social media and stuff too. You could, of course, do that. Uh, you all know how we do. Uh, other than that, we're gonna get on out of here. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight, and we will see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>